Zimmer. Sit up, sure. Here we go. All right, all right. We're serious now. All right, we're live. Everybody <laughs> should be able to see us and hear us now. Everybody, everyone in chat, uh, let us know. Hi. Hey, hey. hey. Yeah, let us know if anybody's muted or frozen. We'll get that fixed right away. Uh, this is our weekly Cyberpunk Red gameplay we do here every Thursday, same place, same time for Sirenscape. Um, before I get into a recap and we get into today's session, let's uh, do like we always do. Let's go around the table. Everyone, introduce yourself. Uh, let people know where they can find you online and introduce your character. Ellen, start it off. I sure will. Hi, I'm Ellen, or if you follow me on Twitter, I'm at Ellen K. Graham One, uh, where I do hot nerd stuff. But mainly where I do hot nerd stuff is for the wonderful podcast company, <coughs> Roll to Cast. That's R O L E to Cast. We are a variety TTRPG podcast. Podcast, podcast, uh, where each <laughs> with a bit of Mediterranean flavor. That's me. I'm the Mediterranean flavor, mainly uh, oregano. Um, sorry, but <laughs> back to the podcast. Each season is a different game system. So from cyberpunk to vampire, the masquerade to pulp, Cthulhu to kids on bikes to The Witcher. I feel like I've left something out. I guess we did cyberpunk pulp twice. Cthulhu. I said pop Cthulhu. Okay, great. Yeah, I guess because we did Cyberpunk 2020 and Red, so it's so nice that we did it twice. Um, uh, so there's something for everyone. Our new season's going to come out very soon, so it's going to be super exciting. We've got a podcast with uh, Lisa Pondsmith and Cody Pondsmith uh, coming out next week, I believe. So it's going to be really, really great. So head to Roll to Cast on all the socials. That's R O L E to cast and check that out but for today i'm playing alley cats the rocker of your dreams nice rock hat. that's me <laughs> <laughs> hello everyone i am as usual most of the time rocket fox you know where to find me just look up rocket fox anywhere and there i'll be haunting you uh <laughs> and also if you hadn't had a chance yet check out my podcast that I also have, but it's about different stuff. It's called Fantastically Strange. It is both fantastic and strange and for your ear holes. So just look at it, look at it with your ears. And uh, as far as tonight goes, I am playing Hades, who is the rocker of your dreams. Oh. Or wait, wait, no, hang on, hang on. Uh, uh, nope. the the net runner of your nightmares. There That's better. That sounds better. I've been usurped. <laughs> yeah, Phil. Hello, I'm Phil. I'm also part of Roll to Cast, so I also recommend Roll to Cast. I think it's great. I think you should listen <laughs> to it. Um, I will point out we have a YouTube channel where we do a live show at the end of every month. Um, so and we we. Uh, each of us takes a turn running like a one shot for three hours uh, we put uh, three choices together and our patrons get to choose uh, what we play so it's lots and lots of fun uh, last month we played thirsty sword lesbians and i played countess foxley and i had way too much fun and you've never stopped um, since <laughs> i haven't stopped i'm still countess foxley even today for myself <laughs> if you go to um uh, Twitch TV uh, forward slash scruff 
which is like my name in chat. Two Ks, two Fs. I don't know. Uh, you'll find me playing Cyberpunk 2077 and then something else when I'm done with that. Uh, who knows? Uh, and I usually play in the evenings, Australian time, which is usually quite early for, for Americans. But please go check me out. I appreciate that very, very much. But today, I'm playing but the rocker of your dreams. No, wait. Um, Ali's the gonna solo. Have to stop. <laughs> stop taking you all out. <laughs> it's going to be a battle royale. The solo whose name you got to get out of your damn mouth. <laughs> nice. Brandon. Hi, I'm Brandon Perkins. Also known as DM underscore Brando. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram most of the time. That's probably the best place to look for DM underscore Brando. Uh, but I also have a Twitch channel. Uh, I don't do anything there, so I probably shouldn't be uh, talking about it. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to be playing Rush, the rocker of your dreams. <laughs> Sorry, I had to keep it going. Oh, why I, had to I keep order. It going. Uh, I'm so proud. Or... <laughs> <laughs> or the fixer that's currently on your t-shirt because that doorway that you walked through sprayed it on there for you. It's just automatic <laughs> printed. There you go. Um, yeah, nice. They got well me put. again. I've been seeing those shirts. That's well put. And, I, and I'm Rob Mulligan. I am the rocker of your dreams for this gameplay. Wait, no, that's I can't be right. Um, that's right. I'm Rob Mulligan, the game master for this team. I'm the game master here every week, but I'm also the founder of Cyber Nation Uncensored. Check out Cyber Nation Uncensored both on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, I would really appreciate the subscribe, the follow. Uh, I got a couple big announcements. Uh, the first one, I, I want to say tomorrow, I've got a big charity event, uh, Cyber Nation Uncensored in partnership with our Talsorian Games and Project Hope. We're doing a charity stream one shot. Uh, the Game Master is gonna be James Hutt from our Talsorian Games. Uh, Ellen Graham's gonna be joining me uh, right here playing a, a young Alley Cats. I'll be playing a, a young Kid the Fixer, um, if anyone's familiar with the, uh, the NPC that we've run into before in some of my other streams and this team's streams. Um, and then we also have Miss Magitech. We have Capricious Nature, one of the GMs from the Cyber Nation Uncensored uh, channel as well, joining as players. So. It's a charity event for Ukraine. Please tune in tomorrow, uh, April 1st, Cyber Nation Uncensored Twitch channel, 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, our Talsorian Games is going to match every donation. So every dollar you donate, they're going to also put in a dollar. So it's a great opportunity to actually make a good impact and, and you know help out Ukraine. So um, tune in, show some support to that. Aside from that, I want to give a shout out to all of our uh, transgender viewers. Today is the International Transgender uh, Day of Visibility. We see you. We respect you. So I wanted to give that shout out as well. Um, and last but not least, Sirenscape. It's the reason we're here. We play this every week because of Sirenscape. Make sure you check out the website. Check out the, uh, the awesome uh, tool that it is uh, to add to your gameplay, add sounds and effects, uh, whether in person around the table or uh, virtually across the internet like we do every week. Uh, there's also a free trial, so there's no reason to not go check it out. If you're a game master or even a player, uh, go sign up for free. Try it out for a while, bring it to your table, show your players, your, your game master, whoever, um, and you'll see it's awesome. Uh, so yeah, check out that. And show some love to Sirenscape. Follow and subscribe here on Twitch and on YouTube. So this is our weekly gameplay. We've done a bunch of campaigns in the past. I recommend everyone check out the Sirenscape YouTube channel for all the VODs to see everything the team has been through, the progression and you know evolution of the team, the characters, all the NPCs that they've met, and just, just everything. Just, there, there's a lot to unpack there, so we can't do a, that big of a recap. But this is the beginning of a new campaign, so it's a great time to kind of jump in. Uh, all the previous campaigns do kind of roll over and affect future stuff. It's you know it's a continued world and lore that these this team and these characters are building collectively. Um, so definitely check out the past ones, but it's not necessary. We'll always kind of fill you in as we go, and um, and it's fun to watch because you can always contribute ideas to chat and be part of our story. So uh, don't be scared to do that. And check out the point rewards um, that we offer here on the channel, so you can uh, you know affect the story Please. as we go. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, it's it's saved the day We're plenty. Of, plus two. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 saved the day more than once. We've seen it. Uh, but yeah, so the team just got off of a, a one shot. Our last uh, stream was an actual one shot. Everyone should go check that out. It was Alley Cat's special signature 
uh, series chocolate uh, event, her release uh, party for bonbons, and it went great. They had uh, uh, some pranksters, the, the vamps that were hired trying to disrupt the party, um, but they kind of foiled that. It was uh, some rocker competitor guy that was jealous and kind of fighting for the same space, trying to release his stuff, but, but, uh, but it went well. Everyone should go check that out. And what I'd like to do is bring up some Sirenscape. Let's see if, first off, if OBS will play nice and get us. There we are. Nice. We're at the cafe. Let's bring up some Sirenscape sounds. As the team is just gathering, you know, the next day they slept in. It's like, you know, early afternoon. Donna's already waited on you. You're having your, your food or your coffee or whatever you need to recuperate from a, a great party at Alley Cat's event. And I'd love everyone just to kind of role play out that event, kind of chat about it and recap it a little bit with each other as if it's the next day. Look, did you tell me straight? Did you stage the whole rivalry dance contest no, thing? No, God. Why would I do that? <laughs> it's just like something you would do. Something Hades would do? Some, something yeah, I you, would both do? Both of you? I don't know. No, God, no. It's so tacky. Don't you think? I'm going to call you out to a dance battle. I mean, I, I just, mean, I'm... dance battles are pretty cool, I think. I don't know. I'm just... My favorite vid ends that way. Pretty awesome. It's your yeah. favorite film. I thought it was Deathmatch 5.3. 15, 15. 15, yeah, know. I don't do Roman numerals so well. You don't, you don't know everything about me. No, that's true. That is indeed true. Uh, no, I would never stage something like that. Uh, uh, why would I give up my stage to someone so undeserving? I have a slew of talented performers who worked their way, you know, doing amazing work at not just hijacking someone else's stage. I think that's tacky as hell. But oh, I'm over it. I'm over it. <laughs> okay, okay, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wait. It, but if he but over. if I ever see him again, that's that's going to be a cyber snake special. <laughs> but you're over it. Yeah, but I'm over it. Yeah. Hades? You don't I have mean, to. when you say <laughs> you're over it, um, you know, if, if someone were to have, I don't know, sent maybe a, a bag of really old rancid kibble that was mixed with some stinky things, um, and just anonymously had it, just, just hypothetically speaking, anonymously had it delivered to his doorstep, uh, what kind of, oh, does that fit into over it? I mean, I'm never gonna stop you getting your kicks, Hades, so if you want to do that for yourself, um... Go for it. Um, I mean, yeah. hypothetically, this would have already happened in that world where something like that may or may not happen by someone. Right. And hypothetically, would it be traced back to us? Ooh, now, when you say traced... Was your face on it? Was your face on it? Not my Is face. You, was my face on it? Hades. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> no, I don't want to just, I don't want this guy showing up anymore and thinking like he's actual competition for me. It's a low blow. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what did you guys think? Come on, talk more about my great show. <laughs> I liked all the suds. <laughs> they were fun. <laughs> Uh, let, let me say, you did an amazing job dodging that goop. Yeah, I mean, uh, it and the feathers badly. Oh, yeah, just as well as if they think that would slow me down. I've seen a a very strange strip tease done with with goop and feathers, and it was fantastic. One of the best nights of my life. So. Uh, but I, I do want to say thank you guys so much for helping out last minute, you know. I know that you were on a date, but... Hey, Donna. <laughs> is, that, is that what we're calling it? Is it a date? Yeah, it was a yeah. date, yeah. Cool. Yeah. And 
Donna leans over. And oh, so so it, it definitely was a date, <laughs> officially a date. And then she she like goes back to work. Like she happened to be right behind you, listening. Heard, heard that part. Why it's important to agree on terminology. Was that in doubt? Uh, I mean, I asked her out to it. <gasps> you guys love to make uh, make a lot out of this stuff. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, what I, makes I, I, you're leaving my audible range there. I, I'm gonna need implants to hear that. Well, we got some cash to flow in, so might be a good investment. That's very true. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you can use to hear Hades or tune out Hades. Mm. Hey. Also, <laughs> give you a little kick under the if table. If you're going to, if you're going to get some sort of improvement, maybe uh, becoming fireproof might not be a bad idea, but. Why? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> are you seeing fire in my future? Are you a fortune teller now? Yeah, because he has a flamethrower, so... I mean, you're always in front of me, bud. Like, let's not deny the inevitable. That's because I'm protecting you all? I mean, that's... Oh, no. Why do I, I, I bother? Only... Shoot fire in the direction I am facing. That's how it works. <laughs> Maybe if you just I'm pretty sure the others into every encounter. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the, the others are, are pretty grateful about that. Would you say, guys? Yeah, I fire is not my friend. <laughs> Imagine if she could shoot it in all directions. Give it time. I mean, I'm pretty good at dodging. <laughs> <laughs> she's just got this so and she just goes <laughs> <laughs> um what about cypress rush how did she find it i know she was a little not hesitant I mean, that was her first time seeing that kind of show well not the first time but i guess the first time in person uh you know given the nature of her work she comes across all kinds of things but, yeah, imagine. Yeah. Was she less offended later? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, she's fine. She was fine. <laughs> Nothing to worry um, about there. She thought it was an exciting event, given all the extra uh, interaction and, and so on that we had. You yeah. grabbed a doggy bag, right? You grabbed a gift pack? For, oh, we got for chocolate for days. Great. Yeah. Just want to make sure. And when that runs out, you get back to me. <laughs> I grabbed that was, three. That wasn't meant to last me days. No. <laughs> I mean, but that's well, why you need to grab more packs. Days okay. and chocolate, they're all relative, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I stayed up playing Elf Lines last night and I just I just went through like two packs. Wait, where where were you? Mm. And also, why? <laughs> that was a late night. You went back home and played Elf Lines? Oh, I barely sleep. Don't worry about me. Mm. And yet you're the one <laughs> charging in first. You know I have a robot brain, right? Yeah, who doesn't? <gasps> but you're a robot. Robot uh, brain needs sleep too. Uh, no, you, you, you can set the processes to, uh, uh, you know, clean out some of the uh, neural byproducts. So you need a lot less. Robot. <laughs> Yes, Hades. I am <laughs> robot. It's you. You were the AI all along. <laughs> Hades starts you to vault me. over the table at him. Ah! Ah, I knew it. Ah! <laughs> speaking of uh, speaking of Hades's mysterious AI, uh, her agent goes off. It looks like you're getting a message from your AI. Oh God, not again. Yeah, you check oh, it out. Well, I didn't see you. Yeah, she is gonna. As soon as she picks up, oh well. Unless you're sending messages from your mind brain, I guess you're not the AI. See, yeah, it has a message. Yeah, it it could be. It just says, uh, "Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned." Let us begin. Go to the following address and access the building system. Something is hiding. Hades will slowly set the agent down, and uh, do this thing with her hand. Oh no. And uh, then kind of leaning forward, everyone, it is time. 
I'm for what? Well, you remember that one time uh, that my apartment was burned down? Oh yeah, that sucked. Yeah. We're about to make up for it. <laughs> How do you know? And Hades is just gonna flip the agent around and shove it in uh, Allie's face. I mean, definitely the AI. It's unspecific as all hell and ominous. The woman, the woman is me. Oh, scorned. Right. Okay. What did you think it was? <laughs> Scorched. I was only just, uh, you know, glancing uh, at it. I assumed right, it was right. someone that Hades had set on fire. You know, I it probably doesn't <laughs> happen as often that. as you I think, just, think but. <laughs> Little little bud PTSD from uh, getting set on fire in that previous <laughs> campaign by her his own teammate Hades maybe what was that about? Uh, I mean, who's to say it won't happen again? Okay, well, you're definitely, not, you're definitely not going alone for this. Oh yeah, I figured all of you were coming with me, whether you wanted to or not. Well, a bit of old-fashioned revenge. Uh, Never heard anyone. Oh, wait. Yeah, I heard basically everyone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, By the point. no, 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 no. It's good for the soul. That's what I heard. I read that somewhere. Who believes in the soul nowadays? I don't know. I don't even know what that is. But I read that it's best served chili <laughs> and... A soul? A soul is best served chili? Soul. Maybe. I don't really remember. That was a while ago. I don't even know where I read that. What's Some old the mag magazine? Now, what's the address? What does it say? It said. Um, can you read that, Rob? Yeah, I mean the whole message. <laughs> Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Let us begin. Go to the following address and access the building system. Something is hiding. Um, the address, uh, Hades. When you take address. a look. Yeah, the address is uh, to your building, the one that you live in. To my own building. Still living Something that bit. You... Is hiding. Coming from within the same building. Hmm. I bet it's the building manager. She hates me. Pretty yeah, sure but... she hates life and everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that seems right. Hmm. Some people got too much time on their hands. It's exhausting hating a whole building full of people. Especially if that's your job. Go somewhere else. Do something else. I don't know. Hey, Donna, can I can I get the rest of this to go? Yeah, no problem. No problem, doll. Here, I'll pack it up. And uh, hey, everything's on me. Great night you took me out. Let me take you all out today. This, as always, uh, meal's on me. Oh, Donna. Thanks, Donna, you don't that need to do so that. Nice. Oh, no, I had a blast. Oh. You have no idea. I mean, from taken out, treated like a celebrity myself, people taking pictures. Then all the action happened. I see... Bud flying into action, just doing all. I mean, that was, it was incredible. I'm good. I'm good. I, I got your bill. I got your bill. Amazing. Well, you know, Thanks, chocolate's Donna. on me. Yeah, she packs you up a literally doggy bag. <laughs> yeah, sometimes literally. <laughs> yeah, she packs up a doggy bag. You can take uh, food, drinks, anything that you have with you to go. She covers the bill, and uh, the team can head out. Um, let's get over to the, the gameplay screen here. And uh, bring up the city uh, on roll 20 just so we can get some visuals. Hey, rush one of these. Yeah. Rush one of these days, you gotta get us a deal on some wheels. Yeah, well, I mean, we've got, got my buddy who we can rent from. I know, it's not the same. Can you imagine if we had a cool team car? Yeah, it would get destroyed instantly. And where, mm. are we gonna, and where are we gonna put it? I mean, you, you're in a little, we're all in little cubes, really. It's not a lot of real estate. I'm sure Rush could find a secure storage, right? Yeah, you know, I could probably figure something out. Something to look forward to, maybe. Aw. Yeah. Oh, oh, hover bikes, hover bikes, we all should get hover bikes. Forget the car, hover bikes. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll be able to jack an AV. Ooh, that, that would be nice. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's good to have like, long term ooh. goals. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so yeah, you make a uh, you make a nice little cab ride over to Hades' building, um, and yeah, you arrive. It's busy midday. Uh, people everywhere coming and going, just like Night City would be. Uh, and you enter the building. The lobby is packed as always. Uh, you know, with the exception of middle of the night, it might thin out a bit. Um, there's always people coming and going, as well as. You know, younger people hanging over at the vendor machines across the room. There's always a line at the manager desk off to the right. Um, people hanging out, socializing. Uh, the only uh, difference that you notice is there is there's a security guard now that that used to not be there, um, and now it looks like there's some type of like rent a cop security guard sort of guy uh, near the front door. Um, but when you guys walk in, he's busy uh, talking to other people just in the lobby. That's crowded. Um, but yeah, you enter the lobby. What's that? Uh, Hades gonna point at the security guard. What is this? Quiet. A guy? You're pulling the security in here after my room burns down? Come on, isn't that ridiculous? Does anyone else think that's ridiculous? Super ridiculous. Should have yeah. been there before. Maybe it wouldn't happen. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hades is going to go over to the security guard. Uh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, you walk over, uh, you can tell he's talking to somebody and just saying, okay, cool, yeah, I see your resident pass. No, you're good to go, it's just precautions, we're just kind of trying to be extra careful, and you know, uh, it's all oh, good. Hades is going to just, like, knock the person he's talking to out of the way. Um, they're just like, oh, god, hey. dang, what the hell? I'm sorry, excuse me, ma'am? Uh, security here, can I see your resident pass? Uh, do you live here? I live here, and you didn't stop my place from burning down. Oh, okay, let me guess, you're Hades. Listen, buddy. You won't. <laughs> Listen, buddy. The fact that you know my name is even more proof that you had something to do with this. Did you? Did you? He's gonna start getting up in his face. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What did he you do? he what backs did you do? up. Your matches? Hold on, no, no. Let me just tell you. Start, Look, like, I... manhandling him. Yeah, he starts backing up. I uh, just whoa, whoa, no. Look, uh, if anything, I thank you. Uh, you're the reason I got this job. Uh, Katina hired <gasps> me, saying a uh, girl Hades big firebomb went off. New precautions, investors in the building, new management, precaution, security methods, whatever. Uh, I'm hired. Uh, thank you, I guess. Uh, it's not me. <laughs> Where were you the night of four and a half nights ago? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, still unemployed. Uh, Hades is going to turn around to the rest of the group. Arrest so, uh, this man! Eddie, we don't do that. <laughs> Oh, I mean, we never did that, even when we were working for Nash. Uh, really. Yeah, although I'm pretty sure Ali has handcuffs if you need them. Yeah, but they're mostly made out of chocolate. Uh -oh. She's going to turn back around the security some? guard. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to turn back around the security guard. I've got my eyes on you. Hey. And she'll go back to everybody else. <laughs> All right. He turns around, you I see him know. just making his way through the crowd. I don't know if he had anything to do with it, really. I... I mean, yeah, I I don't think he would have. He's just some some dude trying to get some work done. Eh. Um, Hayes gonna just while she's there, I guess, try and find out where she can jack into something. Okay, yeah, give me. As if a, you haven't uh, run I your mean, building's net. Yeah, uh, the, <laughs> basically, yeah, you've already I scanned mean... it. Yeah, you've scanned it before. Uh, you know that there's a system over by the manager desk. Um, you have to be within six meters of that, which is plenty of distance. It's not like you have to be behind the manager's desk um, to access it, but that's where it is. Uh, you remember, you, you found it before, and I think it was Bud or Rush asked Katina for the security footage when you realized someone was missing and that day or whatever. So, like, you, you know where it is, like Bud said. And it turned out that it didn't matter because the firebomb came from outside the building, right? So we yeah. didn't see anyone. Yeah, she'll kind of drift over to within six feet of that area. Well, and the and the footage was missing as well, if you remember. But then, oh, right, but then yeah. yeah, then you also saw that uh, there was some firebomb from outside. That's right. I can't imagine well, you sidling subtly. Hades. Yeah, she just kind of floats over to where uh, she's within six feet of the of where she can get in. Yeah, six meters. Uh, yeah, you you easily go over there. What's the rest of everybody else doing? What's Rush Bud and Allie doing? Smoking. Yeah, I guess I'll smoke too. I'll light up a cigar. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna keep an eye out for 
people kind of coming and going. I feel like I've spent a lot of time in this building, so I might know who's kind of regular and who's not. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you guys all post up. Um, Hades, yeah, you're over by the While system. While smoking, of course. Of course. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Which is not cool. Yeah, kids watching do not do like our, our team does. They're not cool. That is not cool. Um, <laughs> Hades, yeah, you uh, you jack into the system. Um, and yeah, you're basically at the top of a system facing a password 8. Uh, well, first thing, let's go... I still have the password, or not the password, but the protection thing. I shouldn't get attacked by stuff. I'm gonna roll invisibility. I don't trust this. <laughs> yeah, they could have beefed it up in there since you were lost in. Yeah, there's a security guard here now. Um, yeah, they could have paid for extra net nodes or something. You don't know. Nice. Yeah, More so ice. I an, That's a good nine enough. on that. That's good enough. Yeah. Let's give me the two six. Oh, neat. Four. Right, a yeah, nice you got four big turns. Four. Cool. Uh, and then I'm gonna run a Pathfinder. Okay. Yeah, I'll go for it. Twelve. Whoa. Yeah, you can see past the password 8 at the top. Um, you can see on the second level, there's a control node 6. Um, on the third level down, there is a file, an ID 6. Um, what was it that your uh, Pathfinder? Sorry, 12? Um, That's good. And yeah, and you can also see at the bottom um, on the third level, there is a cloak, uh, some type of cloak DV10. Um, that you can see mm -hmm. through, um, so you know that there's some type of, uh, uh, but you but you can't see with that DV12. You can't see what type of virus or what they were doing. Um, but once you get down there, you'll be able to get a closer look, and that cloak will kind of give you some type of uh, signature or information. Okay, well, I'm gonna. You have one more. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hit this password and we'll see what happens. Oh, 13. Nice, yeah, you crack the password, it opens up. You're at the top floor uh, with the next two floors below you. Uh, but back over to uh, the rest of the team. Allie, give me a perception. Russian bud, you two are smoking, uh, hanging out. Any Anything in particular that you're doing or conversation or anything like that or just hanging out smoking? Uh, I feel like I'm always... Uh, on the lookout, it's just the nature of things, even while having casual chats. Um, but Rush, I don't know what you want to chat about unless we're just we're just doing the silent, the silent type. Yeah, give me a perception, bud. <clears throat> um, and Talk Allie, to biz. <laughs> what was that, Rush? Oh no, I didn't say anything. Oh, I didn't know if you were responding to Bud. Oh, uh, beers, yeah. Yeah, beers. we should get some later. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it, since we just we just hung out like that. Yeah, it has. I mean, we're always, you know, together with the I group. I never all, but... hang out. Hey, is you, you, that burner, that burner your guy no. hasn't, hasn't gone off yet, huh? No, not yet. But I got it, just in case, who knows. Yeah, no. God, that's gonna be an interesting day when that happens. Yeah, when that phone rings. Nice and yeah, while you're chatting, uh, Ali, everything looks you know, normal. Busy day, young, you know, as a normal day. Like I said, young kids over at the vend it and scattered around. Residents coming and going. Uh, by the manager, a line. People hanging out. Other people smoking. Conversation. There's some music playing, but everything's looking normal. Bud, um, same thing. Like I described. Uh, the only thing in particular that you notice, it just catches your eye a little bit. Not that it's bad, good, whatever. Take it as you will. Uh, Katina, that's at the manager's desk that you've met before, uh, the, the building manager, who's with uh, some other um, workers there, some other uh, you know assistant managers and such, dealing with the, the uh, resident line and complaints. You notice that while talking to them and in between and dealing with them, she like looks over and notices Hades and then like you know talks a thing like she she definitely notices Hades and possibly commented about it. You could give me if you have lip reading, you could do that if you want to try to decipher. Uh, from this distance. Otherwise, if you have audio suite, that would help. Uh, Bud's the only one at this point that, you know, because he's the one that noticed. I do not have cyber audio. Okay. Then you're um, a lip reading if you want to. Let's see if you can make any of it out. Yeah, I have a base 5 lip reading, so 12. Nice. Um, yeah, you're not making out enough. 
Uh, you might pick out, like I said, the word like Hades. You know, something like that. Like you can tell she's talking about Hades, mentioning it to the assistant manager, and looks a little <laughs> concerned. That's all you notice. Now Hades is all like, all her, all her net running gear is like internal, right? When she's net running, you can't really tell. You can't tell like she's unless got virtuality eyes, and she doesn't like have a deck out or anything like that. Correct, but you got to remember that like once she's in, if she starts accessing control nodes or files, there is some you know virtual space movements that will happen that could possibly yeah. give away what she's doing. Or she, she, she loves to do her shriek of success. Yeah. She or likes. start accessing holograms and intercom systems and yeah. flashing she lights. And, yeah. She's a little, little victory dance when she derezzes something. That gives it away sometimes, yeah. <laughs> a little bit. I'll just, I don't know if she can hear me, she's concentrating, but I'll just say Hades manager's just galactic presence, so. Maybe, maybe, Thanks, how about Hades, why don't you give me a, doing that. Hades, give me a perception to see if you hear uh, Bud talking to you. It's going to be uh, a 13. Someone got a 13. Ha, nice. <laughs> it's me. Yeah, you totally hear him. You barely hear him over the crowd, but you hear him. I, she's always looking at me. What, is she looking at me different than usual? Well, just make it quick, okay? I don't like this. And yeah, over yeah, to yeah, Hades. Yeah. Um, so, gonna drop down to... Hmm. Gonna roll for this control node. Yeah, you're down at the control node. It's a control node 6. Got a 13? <laughs> yeah, you have, you have control of the control <laughs> node. You're looking at uh, the building power grid on off levels as always, you know, lights. Uh, different levels as well as emergency, the doors locked, the trash compactor system, uh, the security cameras, add, add holograms, the vendit machine, the vendit machine, add holograms, uh, the elevators. And fire, and fire suppression system, and as always, I gotta add it, you know, the emergency intercom system. Roll concentration. Roll concentration. <laughs> to avoid. Roll, roll concentration. I, I love imagine, that. I imagine especially Bud could see just like suddenly she looks real <laughs> stressed out. See her eyes get She's, into, <laughs> she's into the building systems. The anime concentration face. <laughs> uh, just the, the lights start flickering just a little bit. <laughs> Uh, I'm but you notice happy. you notice the lights flicker just a second as you notice Katina go like and then back to talking to the assistant manager like she noticed as well I, I feel like that's pretty standard for Night City though yeah I mean I feel like someone yeah. sneezes and your lights go off <laughs> <laughs> you like thump the, the apartment uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> top of you hey <laughs> easy with the sinuses <laughs> <laughs> we'll drop down to the well third Well done, floor. Hades. Good job. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you drop down to the third level, um, and you're facing a file ID 6. Um, you also notice uh, in, you know, past the file, like you can't see what's in the files in particular, obviously, because you have to access that uh, ID 6 um, to be able to see it. But you do notice, uh, you know, remembering that you're still invisible for another turn, um, you do notice that there's another Netrunner in the system. You can see that they have a sort of avatar thing where they look like a cute little bear sort of thing, and they're, they're like messing with one of the files. Mm. Guys, guys. Yeah, Bye. yeah, Bye. what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a teddy bear in here. Oh, God. What? He's doing something. Like uh, another he, runner? Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Um, in, <laughs> in, the system, in the system, Hades is gonna go like creep over this person's shoulder to see what they're like, to see what they're doing, but just real leering. Yeah, you can see they're messing with a file in that you would have to access ID, um, the file ID six to see exactly what they're doing. Um, keeping in mind, you know, you have one more action before you're no longer invisible. This will probably be fine. Um, oh, yeah, you know what? You know what almost I forgot about? 
going to roll for the file. Oh yeah, you're in the you're in the system. We forgot about your uh, Hades <laughs> turning into her avatar with the voice and background, all that fun stuff. <laughs> one day we'll get one, Kelman. One day. I love it. Oh, although my screen change isn't working right now, so. At least you, hey, at least you got the voice. That's great. Rolling for the file. Okay. And that is a nine. Nice. Yeah, you crack open the file, and you can see there's. Um, cam footage that's being fed from the cameras. Uh, you can tell that there's a visitor and guest list. There's an employee and service list. There's a resident list. Um, and, and then you can see that this net runner is messing uh, with a rent and payment list. And you can see that they're like on, on a particular apartment up on like the seventh floor, like 712. And they're just like erasing renters debt on that apartment and they're just sitting there like looking at like overcharges and fees and they're like erasing oh uh, i think i think that was my moves for now yeah yeah back over to uh uh the rest of the team uh anything new uh from rush in particular um because i know you were just kind of holding up some conversation with bud while he was looking out and stuff anything yeah, so I haven't noticed anything, but I, I've probably heard what Bud has said to Hades and listened to that conversation. Um, so I'll be looking around just in case there's anyone else within this crowded space that looks like they might be using a cyber deck or something. Okay, yeah, give me a perception. What's, uh, what's uh, Bud doing? Since Rush was in here, thought of that. Same as just just eyes up, scan for threats, keeping okay. it casual. Um, sure. Yeah. What I would like to do uh, before uh, we can keep that perception for you, Rush. That's a great role. But let's see if that comes into effect first, uh, because we need to see if you can even hear um, Hades, um, or we could we could use that actually uh, uh, for that. Um, but Bud, give me okay. a perception. Uh, this is like before over the noisy room, just a 13 to try to at least overhear this with speaking quiet enough that not everyone's hearing it, but loud enough that the team hears it, you know. Nice, good. Um, did Allie Stay. want to uh, overhear that? Yeah, I might as well. You're right, I'm, you're right there. Hearing, yeah. Yeah, if I'm hearing, you know, Hades been... Hey, knowledge is power, why not? Maybe you'll overhear it. Maybe you'll hear it. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, so everyone heard Hades mention that, that, hey, there's a Netrunner in here, blah, blah, blah. So now, Rush, if you want to give me that perception, uh, if, if any of you want to give a perception looking out for someone that looks like they might be accessing the net, you can. Other, yeah. Unless there was something else you want to do on your turn. <laughs> or do we need, do we you don't, Yeah, I don't even think you have to. Um, <laughs> so, Rush, yeah, instantly you notice Rush uh, when you're just about to... You know, think about looking around. If you hear Hades, Rush already kind of like notices and points over and leaning up against the wall, not in line for the manager's desk, but just like a little bit through the crowd, leaning up against the wall. There, it looks like there's three teenagers. Couldn't be any older than like 18 or 19. Um, and they're hanging out, just leaning up against the wall. And it's uh, two girls and a boy. Um, and you see one of the girls is sitting there and she's like, you know, just looking around and then she kind of like does this a little bit and then she like just kind of chills a minute and then she's like doing that hey uh happen to see those teenagers over there yeah uh -huh. yeah it looks a little like they're accessing them now, doesn't it oh um. yeah i'd be worried about the um well, let's just say teen girls are a nightmare <laughs> and a force to be reckoned with, so I've got eyes in her. More likely to short their own deck than mess up Hades, though. I don't know. It's not, it's, doesn't look like some corpo runner assassin, does it? No, Hades but... Quiet. Hey, did, can you see what those kids are doing in there? Sorry. I was just going to say, I was running a gang and... <laughs> <laughs> 16, so... You, you know. make a good point. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, hey, oh, we're gonna find out. And yeah, you can uh, uh, have that little mini conversation with the team, too. Like Bud was saying, can you see what they're doing in there? Which you could. You could see she was affecting, you know, Unit 712's rent debt and stuff. Obviously affecting... 
bills. And she would say to Bud, eh, doing something with one of the rooms. Bills, rent, stuff, <laughs> numbers. Thing or taken away. Taking yeah. them away. Oh. <laughs> I respect the hustle. <laughs> teens, teens are, they're going to be all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're on the making. <laughs> you found that something hidden? The longer we hang out there, the worse it looks for us. Yeah, and then we'll shoot back over to Hades in the system. Uh, speaking of which, and Hades, yeah, you're at the top. Uh, you're at the um, the file uh, at the bottom there, at the third level. Um, and, you, and you see that Netrunner, uh, her avatar, and she's posted up messing with the file. And back to you, while you're overlooking and seeing what she's messing, all of a sudden, visually, you come back into the system, and this girl looks and like, oh, shit, oh, God! She, like, backs up a little bit, and, uh, yeah, give me your interface. This is a little speed check. Oh, oh no. that's not good. It's right. a four in a critical failure. Yeah, she, uh, she, yeah, she backs up, and she's she zaps you. Uh, she goes to zap you, so give me your interface. This is kind of like your evasion. 13. Nice, yeah, it's a hit. Uh, only two points of damage. Um, but yeah, she zaps you, um, and then she jacks out. Um, and in meat space, uh, you know, you're still in the system, but you can still see, like, over to the side where Rush was pointing out, like, those kids kind of, like, standing up and, like, in a single file. She's, like, talking to the guys, and the rest of you, Rush, Bud, uh, Allie, you all see her kind of like panic a bit as she like goes like this and looks at her friend. She like says something to both the friends and they stand up and they start walking out of the building. Walking oh, right past as, you. As soon as the zap happens, Hades is going to uh, say to them, probably not super quietly, hey, if you can see where they are, stop them. They're out yeah, of the system. I, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm going to try and get in the way of them. I'm just like block their exit. Sure, yeah. give me your... Uh, yeah, give me your brawling, a little grapple action. Am I grappling them? I Are just kind of want to stand in front of them. Okay, yeah, give yeah, me that. I just want to cut them off. Yeah, give me that. I don't want to brawl with a teen. <laughs> Seems mean. Do they, do they recognize you? Oh, God, no. Oh, they're teen boys and girls. Oh, no. um, oh my yeah, God. give me your athletics. Yeah. Oh, shit. Sorry, I rolled brawling instead. I'll roll athletics. Yeah, yeah. Even better. <laughs> nice, yeah. I'm you, not rolling, uh, I'm not fighting the teens. You do, yeah, you go to kind of block them, um, and the girl and one of the boys kind of like weasel right past you and kind of go towards the front door. But the third boy that was kind of last in line, he like stops and he's like, oh, what's it? Hey, oh, hi, uh, excuse me. He's like trying to get by you. So polite. <laughs> he looks really nervous. He's raised to be a gentleman. Hey, your friend is in the system. I just want to know what she's doing there. What? I, what? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm, no. Come on. Uh, but is gonna loom. Is gonna loom behind. And just put a hand on his shoulder. I'm not gonna in interrupt what you're saying, Ali. But I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna loom. Yeah. To yeah. Add. To add. <laughs> we're just gonna keep. We're just trying to keep you out of danger, kids. So just. We're not. We're all edge runners here. You don't have to be scared or nothing. Oh, yeah, I, 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 didn't I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I I didn't do anything. I wasn't in a system or no. anything. We're asking what your friend's doing. Get them to come back here. They're, yeah, they, they, they already me. left. I don't. They were just. Well, you oh, better oh. find them. Okay, look, she was Are just. Are they trying, good she was, friends? She was, she was just. I, give me a persuasion. Uh, yep. Let me just get to my character sheet. <laughs> Can, can I, can a, I give her a plus from, from looming? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, if you want, uh, you give me a persuasion, bud, uh, so I can see if it's a, a success, and that'll, that'll give Allie a plus one if, okay, if it is. Okay, cool. Um, it's it, not going to be, be difficult. My persuasion's great, because I'm, I'm, I'm very five. cool. <laughs> but what That's about good, though. Game? That's enough. Yeah, Allie, yeah. you got a plus one. Great. It's a twenty-two. I am also very. Cool. Yeah, I, I don't look. They, 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 they can't. They, they already left. Like, she was just trying to erase her rent debt. Okay, she's just like the, 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 the chick that runs this place is just like gouging her with fees and stuff, and she's trying to help her family. That's all. Okay, like nothing bad. Oh, we totally appreciate that. I think it's she's really cool, me. actually. But I want to know if she's got anything to do with 
what's happening in this system. You might remember there was a fire recently. We're trying to get to the bottom of it. What? We had nothing to do. We don't do anything like that. I don't. We wouldn't do anything like that. I, can't, I wouldn't set anything on fire. Yeah, anyone who would zap me would definitely set my apartment on fire. What? I, I don't know. I, I, we didn't do anything like that. You can tell he's panicking. Like he's getting really nervous, starting to sweat, and like. Rush, do you know how to talk to children? They kind of creep me out a little bit. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know. Like he's clearly panicking, but we're not. <laughs> we're not gonna ice out a kid or nothing. Yeah, give me a conversation, and then you can <laughs> ask or talk to him. <laughs> well. <laughs> what, do you, what do you say to him? Oh? Do you like, Rob, well, back when I was a kid, was it like the thing where it's like hey, you try to relate to a teen and it's like, you get like that's that on one knee. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know that you Would you like, you're, like you're in trouble, but you're not in trouble as long as you didn't have anything to do with what happened to this lady's apartment over here. Do you understand? Jeez, I said I, I, I didn't do anything. With fire. I, I didn't do anything, okay? Like, I, let me let, let me just go. What is that? Hey, everybody, stranger danger. Stra stranger danger. These guys, these, help me. You're a stranger. He starts, like, panicking a little bit. You can tell the conversation's not working, Rush. Uh, this, <laughs> this kid ain't, ain't some corpo no, fire No, but his... Netrunner friend might be. No, you guys are reading too much into it. You think? Paranoia is yeah. getting to you. The friend seemed pretty much like a noob, but also one who would zap me. Well, that yeah. is unforgivable. Did it hurt? Yes. Yeah, are you well, okay? Hurt. Are you gonna be no, okay? Not okay? No. Hang on. I I want to I want to turn to the kid and be like, hey. We can smooth this all over, but your friend has to erase Hades' debt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 I'll tell her. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll tell her what room. Hades says the new room number. Uh, okay, I'll tell her. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll tell her. Can I? Can I go? I didn't do anything. Cool here. Yeah, you're gonna have a breathing down your neck for tips. Yeah, goes, You're gonna have yourself an apprentice by the end of the week, Hades. He goes scurrying uh, off out the building. Mm-hmm. That was awkward. Listen, I can't have apprentices who zap me. It's rude, and it's only something that I do. That's a me thing. <laughs> uh, but then she'd be like a little you. Like a oh, me. God. Yeah. One less thing you have to train her. Yeah. Hmm. Well, yeah, imagine the day. chaotic <laughs> force of two Hades. Hades I mean, with minions? One, is this... one clearly is not enough. <laughs> oh no. I mean, hey, the Lord of Hell did not rule over nothing. If, yeah, uh, yeah. If Hades multi-classes into an exec so she can get minions to control. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> my god. No, please don't. It's going to happen. It's <laughs> coming. And each one now is role saying... played. Each one is role played exactly like Hades' extreme personality <laughs> parts, you know? Like, <laughs> they, they go through a rigorous um, process the se to the weed seven out the, the non-chaotic of... ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Today we're baking muffins. <laughs> yeah, turn out your pockets, everyone. She dresses them up like <laughs> Oompa Loompas, and they're all like singing. And anyways, okay, okay, back back to side. Why don't you have muffins in your pocket? But back over to and, Hades. And then over, the city, over the city, you just hear the chorus of muffins, muffins. <laughs> oh no, she's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Hades, back to you. You're in the system. Uh, yeah, the, the, yeah, the kids, yeah. you know, they were trying to erase their, their obviously, their debt to their unit. Um, you heard kind of them telling him to get them to erase your debt. Um, but back to you. You're back in the system. You're at the bottom um, and visible. There's no black ice in here. It seems uh, maybe that girl got rid of them on her way into whatever she was doing, uh, messing with that, that file. Uh, but now you're face to face with that cloak that you broke from the top and now you can kind of get a, a bit of a signature on it um, you didn't roll high enough to, to crack the virus to see exactly what was going on um, but uh, you could give me a, what was that i hadn't rolled i hadn't rolled for the cloak yet just for the file um, well at the, it, it's part of pathfinder at the beginning uh, it breaks oh. uh, it allows you to see you oh, got high enough mind. to see through their cloak level 
um, to see it. But uh, the details of it you can't see unless you get to that level and get right up on it, kind of investigate exactly what they were programming, and as a netrunner, pick up some of those signature series coding to decipher it, you know? Um, but, but first, uh, give me a deduction, and just a general deduction. We should be good at this. We're all uh, detectives, don't you know? Nice. That is a hey, that's, 13. Yeah, you, you can kind of figure, uh, you know, a couple things here. Like, okay, there, somebody was in here. They cloaked themselves. They did some type of virus. Uh, you saw that somebody uh, deleted that section of the security footage during that time frame when that firebomb went off. You kind of can connect the dots that whoever is in this cloak, this virus probably will expose the missing camera footage, and it's probably all connected to that is uh, the basic deduction of that. Um, but up close, you can see that the, uh, the cloak um, the signature is actually a, a black cat uh, wearing a hat. Uh, it's a logo, um, and uh, yeah, like I said, it's 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 in the uh, in the imagery of a black cat wearing a hat. And uh, what kind of hat is this? Uh, a we'll say a black top hat. So it's a black cat oh, yes. and a black top hat. It would be. But that's what you well, see, um, and you would have to uh, give me your uh, interface to break the virus. Um, you didn't get high enough before. It, let's give it the college try. Eleven? No, you're not able to crack it. Um, not yet. You have one more. Ooh, she's, getting, she's getting angry, look. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's, well, let's try it again. Oh, yeah, that was even worse. Yeah, oh, still, she's getting really angry. Still not able to crack it. Uh, you'll have to give it some more shots. Um, shout out to chat. Maybe there's a plus two. Also, don't forget about luck and stuff like that. But when you come back around, you can still give it another shot. Try to crack this virus if you want. But back over to the team. Um, Y'all are hanging out. Those kids just kind of scurried off. Your bud's feeling good about intimidating that teenager a little bit to help Allie. <laughs> but, uh, but in the process, uh, you do notice uh, Bud over the shoulder of Allie, uh, Katina, uh, coming from around the counter and walking towards Hades. Uh, I'll step in between. Hey, you got any free units in this place? Uh, uh, hey, excuse me. I, I have business. Uh, yes, speak to my assistant Yo, manager. I have business. I this is no, 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 no. I want to talk to you. No assistance. Uh, give me a conversation. You, uh, you helping me out there, Allie? Sure. Uh, yeah, she'll she'll come in of like. Yeah, and I'll say Ali and Rush um, for the for the sake of the scene. Yeah, you know, winding down from the kids, there is no initiative order. So at this moment, you do notice Bud notices something, steps in between you two, and starts talking to Katina. Um, so both of you could step in and assist if you want to, or anything else. And I'm... shout out to Cyber Smiley, dropped a plus two in chat. I'll take that. My conversation's worthless. <laughs> um... uh, yeah, if I. If I can give a plus one by kind of like, yeah, I mean, you've got the cash for it now after that gig. You're thinking of settling down, bud? That's is right. That, that's right. And that's like why I want to talk something? to an assistant. We're just going to barrage her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, well, with what is Ali said, very cool. you know, what would Rush Quiet. say? <laughs> it basically, just uh, upselling uh, Bud nice. over there. Okay, too. Rush. Yeah. Very, very clean, very quiet, uh, you know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, Rush, give me, uh, give me persuasion. Alley cats, give me acting. Right. Um, and we'll go on Bud's conversation with that plus two. Uh, and you also might get a couple plus ones here, depending on. Oh, you got a plus one from Rush. Wow. Okay, so I'm taking the plus two Whoa! from Alley. Yeah, you got two. You got a plus four on this now. Plus two from Chat. Plus one from Alley. Plus one from Rush. It's working. Uh, Katina's confused. She's uh, what? Uh, oh, is it? Oh, and then I crit, so... Uh, that, oh, oh, okay, yes, uh, okay, you need <laughs> unit, you have money, oh, oh, okay, uh, you, you see your mood kind of change, like, oh, uh, well, uh, what range of unit, maybe we speak, you see her look over your shoulder towards Hades and like, uh, okay, yes, come come with me, let's let's speak about unit uh, size, prices, all details, come, and she starts trying to take you over to the desk. Rush, yeah, should we just I'll leave Bud to it, or...? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we'll let him take care of himself at this point. <laughs> <laughs> and at that point, uh, Rush, is, yeah, as, Bud, as Bud gets taken away by Katina, and you see Bud turning around like, ah, 
<laughs> As he's getting dragged away. Container. You guys have to help me move. <laughs> but he goes, oh, yeah, going away to, to seek with Katina. It's working. The the little uh, uh, interception is working and distraction. So Hades is good to go. But Rush, as that happens, your agent goes off. Uh, which one? Uh, your main agent, <laughs> my, not the not the, not the burner agent. given to you by the Arasaka op op operative, but the your regular <laughs> agent goes off. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. So I'll pick up. Yeah, you pick it up, and um, I'll, I'll refer you to roll twenty uh, to see who's calling. Uh, it's your buddy Benny uh, over there. Rent a dent car for hire. Uh, let me drag the players over there so they can see. Uh, it's a nice little little surprise, maybe a little memory down memory lane from the last yeah. session. Um, hey, uh, Rush, uh, what's up, man? Uh, hey, baby, it's been a few days here, and uh, you never came back with the with the ride. Uh, we had that deal, you know, uh, one one hundred a day. If it doesn't come back, you're buy you're buying the you're buying it, buddy. What's up? So where are you? Where is it? Uh, uh, I'm trying to remember where we left it. Now. Uh, uh, you guys, be, you oh, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Outside of the it's way island. out in the Badlands, way outside of Night City in the Badlands, hiding behind a dune miles off of the main highway, halfway out to that Aerozep field where you got onto the Aerozep and parachuted out into the ghost town during the last this campaign. Fine. You left that vehicle out there. <laughs> that old chestnut. <laughs> hey, uh, buddy, uh, I didn't uh, hear back. Rushy boy, uh, so what's up? Yeah, it's uh, don't worry. It's in good shape. We're looking after it. Uh, you, you'll you'll get your hundred eddies a day. Uh, any chance you want to discount us on that for doing uh, more than one day? I mean, uh, uh, you know how it is. You, it, it's a hundred a day. It goes past you. Don't you don't bring it back. Then it's uh, you're buying it. You're buying it. But uh, I mean, how many how many days do you need it? Well, I don't know. Well, how much would it be to buy it outright? I mean, I, I'm, I'm starting to like this car. <laughs> well, what do you say? All right, well, you can have it. A 5K. 5K flat, it's good to go. It's all you. 5K. That's a little steep for me right now. All right, 1K. Uh, I'll do 1K. For the... 1K is my... <laughs> That's... It's a little steep One... for the car in general. Come yeah, on, it's man. a piece of, sh piece of crap. <laughs> Well, they got us out there. Look, as of, as of right now, right? <laughs> Rushy, baby, as of now, you already owe me about five on it. So, like, uh, you know, what are, you, what, are you, what are we talking about here? I, I thought it had been that like, three days. Oh, we're on day four. You didn't bring it back, so uh, let's. All right. So what? what you're, you're saying you're saying a thousand outright, and that covers the five two. That would be perfect. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, all right, all right. I'll, I'll buy this Wait, car. Can off we you, uh, knock off twenty percent? You ever think about doing some sort of photo deal? I kind of like uh, how I look on the on the hood of a car. That's <laughs> Alley Cat speaking right there. Oh, well, Just so you know, and that brain dance bimbo. No, I'm good. I'm good. Look, we, I'm trying to trying to upgrade up to threaten the families. I'm taking rent a den <laughs> up and out of the ghetto soon. I don't need I don't need none of that uh, pervy stuff attached to my business. Hold I'm good. on, hold on. Now, this happens to be a friend of mine. You cannot just go around throwing, slinging names oh, like no, this. Oh, no, sorry. I mean, excuse my, excuse, I mean, my, excuse my pillow talk here. You know, I'm just a little bit blunt, but I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I enjoy it myself. I mean, <laughs> you know, I get down, rush. Yeah, but that's enough business. out of you. business I, side. If you, you don't know. want a five grand a show performer to uh, collaborate with, that's fine. No, I don't, I, don't I, 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 I don't need it. But Rush, uh, you know, you, you got the gift of gap here. Why don't you give me a little bit of a haggle, Rush? Give me your haggle, bro. We get this clunker. Maybe we can get some nomad friends to to beef it up for us, eh? Oh, oh yeah, I'll, I'll... I think that's pretty good. That's you can, a twenty-seven. Yeah, on you can head. you can have it for nine. You can have it for nine nine hundred flat. I'll knock ten percent off. Nine hundred. Um, car? You said you wanted a car, man. <laughs> <laughs> you said you wanted a car. Is that like a compact ground car start at ten k in the book? This is, it's a steal. Yeah, this is, is a steal. steal. I mean, it all is. Right. A, if we all go, it's all metal, good. but we're gonna have to go get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure I'm just sure pox out. <laughs> yes, pox can do it. There we go. He, he, owes, he owes us. And Benny, 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 Benny. 
you know, uh, this is an amazing deal. I'm going to take it. The one thing I'm sad about is this means we're going to be talking less to each other because I'm going to be driving around. I won't be renting a dent. You know, but Aww. I will definitely pass your name around. I will. Oh, as I... long as you keep passing mine around, too. Oh, of course. Yeah, pass it around. You know, scratch my back, scratch your back. And, uh, and hey, hey, uh, uh, yeah, you, you, you won't need to talk to me uh, uh, too much soon. You'll have that ride. But, uh, uh, hey, when, when it finally breaks down, you, you come on back. I got, I got you on the next one. All right? All right. Cool. Bye-bye. He hangs up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This. All right, we got a car. I'm surprised your agent isn't greasy after that guy. <laughs> Feel and, it. <laughs> and yeah, over to Hades. You're at the bottom of the system there. Um, you found the, the signature okay. of this black cat in a black hat, and uh, you're trying to crack this virus to get that missing footage. Uh, let's see your interface. You got three tries. All right. I um, also, added... if you got luck, there's plus twos. Or no, nope, use that one. Um, I. I think I think there was only one plus two yeah. that I used. Um, I did add two luck though, so we'll see what. Yeah, I'll have to add it on manually though. Nice. Fourteen? Question nice. mark? Yeah, you cracked the virus. Um, it's just enough, just enough to crack the virus, and it's like you uh, deduced. Hades is a winner. You know? <laughs> yeah, everyone you see, uh, Hades kind of yeah, and then try to tone it down a little bit, acting like she's not in the system, you know. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, she cracks the uh, virus. Oh, and there's another plus two from Warped Wolf 76. Shout out to Warped Wolf. Thanks so much Thank for you. helping Thank the you. team. So everyone keep track of that for the future. Um, but yeah, you cracked the virus, and it's like you deduced it is the missing footage. Um, there was obviously a virus covering up the fact that they were uh, jacking it out. Um, and you're able to kind of recoup the footage uh, through this virus and kind of recode it. Um, it takes you a few minutes, but you're able to do it while the team just hangs out. Um, and yeah, you put it back together and you're basically looking at your building footage. Um, when you look at the time around when your firebomb went out, um, you can see that right before it went off, um, there were a few guys, girls, it's hard to tell, maybe three or four coming through the lobby going up. Then you can kind of follow the footage through elevator and on your floor. And then you clearly see like one person staying by the elevator while three others go up to your door um, and they're all wearing black. You can't see their faces. And even when they turn towards the camera, it looks like the camera kind of glitches on their face. Like they have some type of paint or something on their face that like would do something to the camera. It's hard to tell, um, but they go to your door and you see them kind of like crouching down, looking up and down, obviously trying to be stealthy. And it looks like they kind of bolt your door closed or welded or they do something. They're like messing with your door and it looks like they're, they're jamming it or doing something to your door. Then they leave. Um, and it's not more than just a few minutes or, you know, moments after that they leave camera view of the building that you see your door completely blow off and fire kind of quickly flash in and out. Oh, my word. Um, can, I, can I roll a deduction on this to see if I notice anything about them that might give some sort of clue? Um... Yeah, you can give me a perception. Uh, yeah, give me perception. a perception on looking at that. Um, yeah, you're not getting uh, any detailed clues, really, but you can tell that this is some type of, like, um, you know, tactful team. The way that they operated, it was very similar to, like, an edge runner team or something along those lines. Um, you know, like, they, they looked, uh, you know, just very tactful. Um, not booster gang or anything like that, you know what I mean? Uh, Hades will say aloud. <clears throat> oh my goodness. It's the evil us, but they're way more organized. <laughs> what do you, what do you mean? It's, it's us? Uh, no, it's a team. They're probably edge runners and they all worked in unison. I didn't see them arguing at all. And over to, uh, over to Bud, uh, Katina is just grilling you about your credit, your job, your income, if you have a girlfriend, a wife, any kids, any pets. Um, you know, she is just grilling you and grilling you. Um, Allie, Rush, uh, you hear Hades mention, hey, I was able to crack the virus. This is what I saw in the footage, just like she described. 
Um, but you also can see off to the side behind the counter, Katina just grilling Bud and Bud just kind of sweating in like in the zone. All right. I'll finish sending the Eddies over uh, to Benny. I might and... <laughs> see Bud and be like, I feel bad. It was funny. It was funny. No, it's... <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure we just, uh, are any of the apartments she's offering me? Do they do they look good? <laughs> yeah, I mean you've seen <laughs> Hades I'm good in it. right now. Yeah, yeah. There's all kinds of upgrade options. Upgrade from a from a crate. Yeah, I could upgrade to studio apartment or two bedroom apartment. Um, whoa, 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 whoa! I didn't know we were talking to the queen here. Two bedroom. <laughs> the queen of Night City. <laughs> Just go up go up one one thing. I do live in a cargo container. We do actually make some scratch now. Yeah. I love the last time you made us pay pay rent and living expenses, but it's gotta be coming up soon. Yeah. Uh yeah, I mean I'll I'll take it semi seriously if if she has any good deals or nice places. Yes, okay, the... then here here's options. These units here, if you want to come back, uh, you think about it. Then okay. come back, and I get you set up. Cool, cool. That was a lot. I'm okay. And and <laughs> he'll turn around. And he's got like a fistful of like brochures. Oh yeah. <laughs> Couldn't she just have sent this on a shard or to my agent? What the? And like <sighs> scream sheets, hologram chips. Like there's all kind. Of, you know, she, all these things. Like just. One's about like getting a loan. Right, right. There's One's ads. About, like a cleaning service. Hologram ads and things, yeah. <laughs> Hovering around you. But uh but yeah, you do that, you get back to Hades that jacks out, and you're able to kind of, you know, wrap up the building system excursion and hop into the cab and kind of discuss your next move, discuss what Hades found. Um you can kind of chat with Hades about it and stuff. But before we do that, let's take our five minute bio break. Uh, when we get back, we'll start right then. Um, like I described, don't anybody go anywhere uh, in chat. We're literally just going to take five minutes uh, for a bio break, and then we'll jump right back into it. I'm going to leave mics hot uh, so the team can talk about the situation or whatever they want, and chat can uh, join in. All right, we'll be right back. Uh, I need to have my stronger painkillers. Because <laughs> oh. I am there is a a vice around my uterus. <laughs> oh. And I am losing. <laughs> I'm losing people. <laughs> I'm trying everything I got to stay focused, but all I can think of is ow. <laughs> I, I give you sympathy, but not empathy. Why not? I must. <laughs> you must go through it too. Have you seen the thing, you, the people where they. They get guys and they put all the electrodes yeah. around where the muscles would the, be. I loved the, I've seen some where like every time the guys are like, oh, oh my God, no, no. And then like, there's a really great one where it's also like, you know, uh, uh, women or people who've experienced periods before who like then put the pads on themselves and are like, that's not even like my worst what day. Yeah. <laughs> this is a, a light day actually. Yeah. I'm gonna go grab a drink. Oh, it's rough. It's rough out here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm oversharing, but that's what Twitch is for. <laughs> right, you know? <laughs> oh, God. Eggplant? Oh, sorry, I'm only checking chat now. Oh, I love eggplant. I had no idea until I... You know, I saw it growing in my nonna's garden as a kid why it's called eggplant. <laughs> like, oh, it starts out and it looks like a tiny little egg. It's so good. Is that why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when it's first growing, it's just like a, it looks like there's just an egg in your garden. No, no. It like, starts off white and kind of like the same oval shape. Mm. Yep. I didn't know that. Oh. I've only seen them fully grown, I guess. At their yeah, yeah. Time. Oh, so good. I mean, I, shout out to all my gardeners in chat. <laughs> Wish I could be one. Wish I could not kill a plant ever. Um, but that's why I love going to my nonna and nonnos, because obviously ethnic elderly people love their garden. <laughs> yep. Shout out to Musaka. Every every day my nonno comes in, in the house with like a, something he's grown in his garden of like, look at this. Oh, it's beautiful. 
And an no. honorable, honorable mention to eggplant palmies as well. As oh. a vegetarian, as a vegetarian, eggplant palmy. Mwah. If you don't um, know what a palmy is, uh, you basically <laughs> normally you take a slab of chicken, crumbed chicken, and then you chuck a load of like uh, tomato sauce on it, like like not ketchup, but like an actual sauce, tomatoey sauce, and a ton of cheese. A marinara. And you bake that. A marinara sauce and cheese. But you can also do it with like, there's like a Mexican version, has like guacamole, mole and uh, and um, uh, corn chips on it and, and all the salsas and stuff. Um, there's a Kilpatrick version, there's all sorts. It's great, great eating. We love them here in Australia. What's your go-to? It's like my go-to like pub meal, like when you go out. Oh man. Well, uh, there was a pub that I used to go to in like many years ago and I would always get their potato scones, uh, which is kind of like potato pancakes. Um, oh. I think it's, I think it's an Irish, uh, recipe, but man, were they good. Uh, they'd come out looking like little triangular pitas and, uh, just super savory, delicious. Uh, so mm. that was my go-to pub food back in the day. You a poutine man? Being Canadian, yes. Uh, I feel like that's just comes with the territory. You just not allowed. Do you get deported if you express dislike for poutine? Yeah, pretty much. They just send you to Boston or something or Cleveland. Uh, Bronx paella, cerveza. Uh, what else? Uh, <laughs> uh taco. <laughs> Tempranillo. Uh, so there was some discussion, uh, earlier in the chat. Um, they mentioned that the car, uh, might be called the, the Rushmobile, but I'm thinking we got to have a team name for the car. Uh, the Rushmobile. So, as fun as it would be to slap Rush's face all over this car, probably not good for us being, you know, stealthy in certain circumstances. Um, so, Ali's face. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, Ali's face, Hades' face. <laughs> I was, was going to say, rockers do not really, you can't really skirt by being subtle. You're kind of trading off your name most of the time. So. Yeah. Well, well, down the side. Steer into it. Steer into That's... it. Oh, oh. Hey. Ah. Down the side, we should have little chibi versions of the four of us. Mm. Done. Right. Say less. I warped both 76 calls it the Bad Decisions Express. <laughs> <laughs> Is that our team name? Yeah. The BD. I was... The BD. The BDs. The BDs. It's like. Oh, uh... <laughs> people talking to Ali. Oh, the most stand for braid dance, right? Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sure, exactly. why not? <laughs> oh, yep. I'm on the codeine train. Choo -choo. Yay! <laughs> Get ready for me to pass out at the end of the stream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just, just float away during it. Wow, man. <laughs> um... I also shouldn't be drinking caffeine, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, when I get... When I get um, uh, like nerve pain in my neck. Codeine's one of the few things that'll actually it's make the, me feel it's okay. The, it's the only thing. I Sorry, everyone in chat. I know I'm oversharing, but I was like, I once had to go to a doctor to be like, please, I need this for cramps. It is incredibly painful and often debilitating on the first day. And they're like, that doesn't work. That doesn't work for cramps. And I'm like, bitch. <laughs> I'm telling you, they do. <laughs> <laughs> My mum had to come pick me up when I was 16 because I was under a stairwell and couldn't walk. And she gave me codeine and then I could. <laughs> and shout out to my mum <laughs> while I'm on this stream. She'll never watch, but you know. <laughs> I'd just like to shout her out anyway. <laughs> what i'd love to see i'd love to see like um i don't know maybe maybe phil we could chat more about uh, some sort of cyberpunk <laughs> one-off 
It's like I would yeah. like to see like the Volkov family in it. Like I want to see a cyberpunk family gang. I think that would be cool. Like, not gang as in gang, but I mean like a, a cyberpunk party who is all family members. Yeah, and cool. yeah, and an all nomad party. I mean, Makes even sense. when they're yeah. not family, they're family, right? Yeah. Um, it just it, it would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> be like the Incredibles, but cyberpunk. <laughs> uh, Bronx is suggesting that, like, when we for the car, like when we break, um, there's like a hologram on the back window of Hades. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> when oh, we check, you know, uh, I stand we behind that. Check, yeah. When we break, check people. She just like. You know when you open, um, some people, some people add to their cars when you open the door, it like projects the image onto the floor. Mm. That, but just like of all our faces. Oh, oh yeah. Four doors. One on each door, yeah. <laughs> hey, Bowser, no. Are we ready to go back? Chewing on my weak net. Yeah, Bowser. Anybody want to take a, show him. anybody want to take a mouthful of food or anything embarrassing before I go back? I just want to get Bowser visible. Look at you, Rockettes, is our thing. Alright, and we're back. Alright, everyone Peace. can see us and hear us. Thanks, everybody in chat, hanging out. It was just a quick five minute final break, and we're going to get right back to it. Right where the team left off, uh, Hades was in the building system. Uh, Bud Rush Alley uh, created a little diversion and interception with the manager, uh, as well as uh, some young net runners trying to uh, get rid of their little rent debt or whatever they were up to. Um, but yeah, Hades uncovered um, a little cloak signature uh, in there from the Netrunner. She also was able to crack a virus and see the uh, the footage, the missing footage, and what was going on with that when her apartment got bombed. Um, but she jacked all that information and stuff out of the system. You guys left Bud with his handful of holograms, brochures, and advertisements and things to possibly move in as you all get into a cab, and I'll let you take it from there. All right. Bud, 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 yeah. bud. Yeah, yes, yes. Are you going to be my neighbor? Ooh. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> put a hole through the wall and then put a door in. Um, but like, I will you know, absolutely be on a different hole. floor to you. Anyway, multiple the holes. <laughs> a multiple, tunnel. Multiple holes, yeah, through other people's units. <laughs> so she gets there. <laughs> I figure I can keep, keep, a, just <laughs> figure I can keep a, figure I keep an eye on you. You have a lot of enemies, so. I know. I have the most enemies of anyone anywhere. I know. I, 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 Ali's pretty famous. That, that brings enemies, right? Oh yeah, uh, but usually I have to date them first for them to become enemies. <laughs> Rush, anyone hate you? Uh. Nobody that I can think of. I'm you know, sure I tried. Of I tried to when we first met, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. <laughs> it's there you so go. It's a trick question. Anybody who hates me has me kill. Has me kill him. So. Oh. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's a prerequisite for death. <laughs> what do you guys make of this footage she pulled? Uh, Rush, a team you recognize? Mo, you recognize? Um. Is there anything I'd recognize from this footage? Anything that um, I might be able to... Yeah, with the footage, it's like Hades described. It looks like it's obviously a professional sort of hit or team or whatever. It wasn't just some booster gang or low-level sort of thing. Um, I, I Nobody just, I'd recognize from a hiring pool or anything, right? Yeah, just... Well, no, n none of that. The faces were distorted in the cam. They were using some type of uh, nano paint or uh, some type of scrambler or something... Uh, that that hid their face, but you could give me, give me streetwise if you want. Uh, would I? I mean, I've got a bit of streetwise. Would I know? Um, Anyone? Yeah, I think. Uh, you know, a Ali Bud Rush. Um, it would make sense with you three. Hades, not as much. Um, so if Bud, Aww. Ali, or and Rush want to give me some streetwise while Hades is discussing. Yeah. Um, you know, what she, what she uncovered with that cloak. It was off. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing we can all, 22. I'm guessing we can all directly view the footage on our agents, right? We're actually, like, looking right at it. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> unless we're all looking on the one. <laughs> Streetwise, where is that? Around. Uh, it's. Uh, it's a social skill, it's not cool. an education. Yeah, it's a cool social cool. skill. Cool, so cool. Um, uh, yep. Yeah. I hope Russian. I know. Yeah, nothing's coming out of the footage like I described earlier, but that cloak, that that black cat in a in a black hat. Uh, sort of logo or signature that's coming through the coding. Um, Russian Alley recognized that a bit. Um, it's the logo of an Edge Runner team. Um, they're called the Black Hats, um, and their logo is a play, a little word play on the fact that like they're called Black Hats um, because they're sort of avant-garde in their methods of sort of off the radar approach. It also represents them not being scared to do bad guy stuff. Uh, when needed or when paid. Um, but the whole idea is their team being called Black Hats. Uh, their logo, it's sounding like Black Cats. Black Hats, Black Hats. Their logo is a black hat in a black hat. It's kind of a, a weird little wordplay thing. Um, but because of that, uh, Ali and Rush recognize it. Maybe Ali has seen them hired in their younger years as security to an event way back in the day before they kind of evolved into a, you know, a higher level edge running team. Rush Maybe didn't hear yeah. about maybe didn't hear about their start, but heard about their later years, their more recent times. Um, they're they're an edge runner team, much like yourselves, of that caliber, um, and they get hired out for gigs and stuff. Um, you know that. Uh, would we know they're kind of like mo, or you know, like where we kind of go, there tends to be some sort of, <laughs> you know. Uh, I don't know what you're referring to. Uh, coups <laughs> or, you know, revealing um, shady, shady corporations, that kind of stuff. Like, we have a we have a bit of an MO and a reputation about us for the kind of leanings that we take to certain perspectives. Do, would we know anything about, like, what it is they tend to favor or, you know, what no, their I actions mean... kind of... Yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't know. You knew in the younger years about this team, you know, uh, Edge Runner team coming up. Rush, you know them a little more recent times. Now that they're a little more established as, as an Edge Runner team, um, you know, seeing them through higher social hires and stuff through fixers and stuff that deal with that sort of uh, social information and trades. Um, and you know that that you know they'll be hired by anyone. They'll do you know bad guy stuff if they have to. You know, like if they're paid. Um, they're an edge runner team like you guys. Yeah, corpse, corpse uh, individuals, gangs. gangs, anybody that'll pay, you know, they're a, they're a team for hire. Well, they're called the Black Hats. And, yeah. Uh, I think like one way that we could... One way we could confront them is to present them with a job that requires a face-to-face -face first. I like it. You know what fixer yeah. they run with? Do do Can I know what fixer they? Um, with bullets? No, uh, you know, kid might be able to hook up um, a contact to an edge runner team or like a hire or information. A kid's usually good at that. Um, you could also give me um, uh, anybody actually could give me a library search um, plus two with the agent agents and. Uh, um, I have nothing in this, but I always roll really well. Uh, hey, so I'm getting ready to go. Uh, so that's a 26. Uh, okay, well, I shouldn't bother, but I've already found it in my thing, so. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so roll it. yeah, you're not finding much. Um, everybody is, is kind of finding the typical information like I already described. Rush, you, you find um, their garden page. Um, that they had some years ago before they fully evolved into uh, their edge runner team that they are now. But Hades does a little bit of hacking in the library search, maybe access accesses some black net style files and things, and, and digs up a little bit of information, finding out that um, you know they do have an, an an off data term sort of site or page um, where you can contact them. You can send them a message. Um, on like if you have a gig or something like that, it's basically like to submit a hire a gig and if approved It says that they'll contact you back um, so you can come in for a meeting and that's how they uh, tend to do business But Hades was able to at least find that I found their request page. I have so many things I could think of to say <laughs> 
I, I remember we need you we see, need to get them here. You see Hades typing like she's already trying to s maybe going to send something. Look, we just we need a plan and we just need to find out who hired them to bomb your apartment. They didn't do it on their own volition. We don't so, know that. There's a lot of very you... jealous people out there. Jealous of my success. Personally, me. It's, I mean, that's not wrong, but we still need to, you know. I, I did put in here. Gonna, she's going to show her agent to everyone. I did put in here that uh, jealousy is unbecoming. As what? A reminder on your agent? Or... <laughs> No, and the message I'm gonna send to them. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, w what else did you put in there? Yeah. <laughs> um, anyone who firebombs me, and I quote, will die. Uh, could we go for a more subtle approach, maybe? Mm. They might not want to meet us if we threaten their lives. Rush. She's gonna hand her agent to Rush. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hades is evolving. She's growing up every day. She gets a little more, well, you know. What it's happens? You you know you come, for, you, you come for season what? one. You see the season five character growth. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, I will say uh, she does acknowledge that uh, getting them in person uh, can much more successfully lead to bodily harm and revenge. That's yeah, true. setting them on fire later. So delayed satisfaction. Ooh, exactly. But rush, <laughs> yeah. You have the phone, you can see uh, Hades has it uh, jacked into some part of like a local data term system page that's like beyond garden page. It's something you haven't seen before, but it has the contact of the Sedge Runner team, the Black Hats. Little submission form, you can put whatever you want. Hades, you are good. Oh, uh, you like the email? <laughs> oh, no, I mean just getting, getting here, finding this was really good. I you, know that! Everything you wrote was probably something that they would take offense to. Um, That's what I was hoping for, yes. <laughs> right, right. Uh, thought, thought as much. Uh, so, uh, but I'm thinking let's go along with something like uh, black hats needed for some job. What kind of a job do we want to pitch to them? Something with a lot of money. Or food. Yeah. Uh, um... Or pets. What? Or maybe we want to have them set somebody else on fire. Needed to transport a fish. <laughs> We've done that one before. Great. <laughs> nope. I mean, I feel like only edge runners with a very specific <laughs> uh, uh, sense of throwing caution to the wind would take on that kind of job. Yeah, that you might clue this into to them to being us. Uh, I don't know. Why don't we just say bounty? No, because then they might actually accidentally kill someone. Uh, say, say, say we need them to to shake down a few businesses in the area, having been uh, paying their protection. Make out yeah. like we're a gang or something. All right, let's to do rough that. up Benny a little. <laughs> Didn't like his yeah. comments about my work. <laughs> yeah, he was very rude. Very rude. He was very rude. Yeah, well, I've already paid him now, so we've got the car. You can do whatever you want to Benny. Great. Poor Benny. Not really <laughs> worth my not really worth my energy, but hey. Yeah, I think Benny hurts Benny more than any of you could, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Just being <laughs> Benny. Every day. You know what? You're a real piece of crap. <laughs> this is why your fifth wife is going to leave you. <laughs> <laughs> fifth? That was nice. That was actually... This is Benny. All right, anyway. Rush, what do you write in there? What are you going to put in there? Yeah, so I'm going to put um, Fixer Seeking Black Hats uh, to round up protection money. Um, so Something along those lines. Uh, anything else I should add in here? Um, cover our, our bases, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, looking to meet face to face, and I'll, I'll put a location in there. Maybe Sixth Street territory, so we can have the gang help us uh, keep these people from running away. Are we going sure. undercover? Uh, yeah, we should totally not look like ourselves. Uh, I want to be Pox. Oh no, I'm getting abducted. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, that might be the first time anyone's ever said that. Um, okay, it's gonna be hard, but do you need a costume change? Cause so. Uh, well, now I know where to put the lotion. So sure. Yeah, it's powder, but you're learning. <laughs> okay, I, I knew it was something like that. Yeah, sure. within within just a few minutes, actually, you get a message back uh, from that sort of uh, a blank number unmarked uh, back from your submission um, and it just it's a message that comes back uh, in text form and it just says um, you know the the uh, typical extraction uh, gig starts at 5k and up looks like it's it's kind of giving you a price giving you an idea of a price range of what it's going to cost Hey, hey, Hades, do you want to let your, uh, let our mutual friend know that we found what they were looking for? Oh, yeah, I guess I can do that. Uh, Hades is going to send a message to the AI that will consist of a whole bunch of arm muscles, um, and then she's going to attach the video. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you get a message back from AI that just says, follow the leads. Keep me posted. Ah. ah we're doing that already. Wish it could be more, more specific, you know? But yeah, 5K, that... though. Who do they think we're shaking down? Yeah. Corpo Boutiques, I think. What's the deal with the for everything. 5K, 5K. Should we raise our prices? Yeah, yes. maybe. Yeah, maybe we should then. definitely raise our prices. We're definitely a better edge runner team than these black hat people. I know. Yeah. Although we don't have a uniform. I'm looking at we all don't. of you. I mean, a uniform. I'm not some fascist. I'm not wearing a uniform. You will wear a <laughs> uniform and you'll like it, bud. It's not just fascists who wear uniforms. It's a step on the road. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Those workers in the high vis, proto fascists. One day you're a janitor wearing a jumpsuit, next day, uh, bam, fascist. Seems somewhat classist, but I also hate uniforms, so I'm I don't know. joking. God, you guys <laughs> really need to work this out. <laughs> I think you need to work it out on your delivery. <laughs> It's called deadpan. Uh, Rush, make sure you talk him down. Make sure it seems like we're at least serious. I will do my best. Yeah, I mean, you know, they expect haggling. Otherwise, it's suspicious, right? Yeah, so what do you reply to the message uh, letting you know uh, a gig like that starts minimum 5K and up? Uh, do you accept this? Uh, what do you reply? I'll haggle back, yeah, because that seems like the right thing to do. Uh... I'll come back with 3k and see if they up their, you know, or see where they go from there. Do you want me to do a haggle roll or anything? Or? Uh, no, because this is in message form, um, you know, in text. So it's not really going to have the the persona and the personal touch that, that a, a skill check like that would really put in. Um, so the message okay. just comes back. Um, our standard... Uh, gig starting fee is 5k and up for this. Do you accept or not? Well, we're not really going to be paying it, so I guess I guess it's a yes. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so. yeah. Make sure you grumble, though. <laughs> grumble, grumble. Uh, <laughs> fine. Yeah, you... we'll, we'll be paid upon completion. All right, so you send that message in, and you know, within a minute, you get a reply back saying, "Great, meet us at this address, 7 p.m." I guess they're not meeting at the address uh, we put in there, so. Um, Want to do it on their home turf, but yeah, that that's that's Sorry, SOP. That's SOP, SOP yeah. for standard operating procedure for for these kind of deals. They're not going to meet at some third location. That's how you get ambushed. Well, yeah, but I mean, if 
means it's going to be harder exactly. to... Uh... <laughs> well, and that's, I mean, that's what we were trying to do. Yeah, yeah that's exactly yeah. why you don't do it, because that's what we were going to do. Mm. Yeah. What's the address? Yeah, yeah Russia. I'll share the address. Yeah, when you look up the address, um, you can see it looks like it's some type of uh, shop um, over on the edge of South uh, Night City uh, between the University District and the Glen. Um, and you can see it's kind of uh, a, a lower level part of that city um, where there's like a bunch of shops and garages. And by shops, I mean like mechanic shops, workshops, um, sort of like independent rental units and stuff. Um, but that's what comes up at that address. One of those okay. units, yeah. Are they intending to meet us like immediately, or? Um, at this point, yeah, you're you're we'll say a couple hours from seven. You know, by now it's uh, you know, late afternoon, early evening. Um, so yeah, it would make sense. You're probably about an hour or two away from that point. Um, if there's anything you you wanted to do prior, uh, you have a little bit of time. Otherwise, we can streamline uh, to that moment. You let me know. Probably not enough time to pick up our car. <laughs> no, definitely not. That's uh, over an hour. Yeah, that's over an hour outside of the city. Yeah. Send Pox yeah. to do it. Yeah, we'll send Pox to do yeah. that. <laughs> Give him um, a gun, for God's sake. Dear so he Pox. Get just like, absolutely slaughtered. Dear Pox, you're welcome. By the way, we need you to pick up our car. It is at this address. Wait. Try not wait. to be seen. Maybe I should send it. <laughs> he seems desperate to impress me. That's true. Also, I don't know if a dune has a uh, an address to him, but we dropped a pin. <laughs> it is around here somewhere. <laughs> Imagine if you were just trying to describe it. Yeah, yeah, it's on the third hill. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, there really is sure an address right there, so you would have to, you know, if you're trying to send somebody out there, it would be very difficult. <laughs> Um, uh, and make sure he comes gets the keys off us too. It's possible. Yeah, he gets all the way out there. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that would be so. I good. found it, but uh, where? Uh, oh, no. <laughs> oh no! Hot wire it. Hot. Wi <laughs> Damn it, Pox. But you can do that. You can at least give him the general area. Ali can send that message. Um, he's a little hesitant, um, but he agrees. You know, you do remind him that you saved his life and such, and uh, you know he's appreciative. He's also still a big fan. Uh, so uh, he agrees to go out, out there and at least take a look in that area. He says he'll work it out with Jones and the guys to try to get a ride and do what he can. He'll get back I'll to pay him. <laughs> I'll pay him. Um, can I, I – so I want to I go early and separate from the group so it's not conspicuous. Okay. And I want to find a place where I can overlook this this meeting spot with my, my assault rifle. Sure. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, what's everybody else doing? Uh, I might be trying to just go incognito. So, yeah. Just changing up, wearing a different outfit, changing tech hair, tech hair, skin, that kind of stuff. Because I feel like if I walk in as myself, I could be a bit of a liability and make us be noticed. Yeah. So that means we change. All right. While, while yeah. Allie starts, uh, Allie starts messing with her <laughs> her uh, chem skin shift tacks and synth hair and outfit and kind of changing up her look. Uh, what's what's Hades and Rush doing? I mean, since they're edge runners, they will have a net runner who probably would know who Hades is. Also, it, I mean, assuming they didn't all know whose place they were going to set on fire. Um. Hades goes into disguise as well. Hades is having a hard time distinct. Like, Bud left early, but now Hades is like, wait, I thought you left early. Bud, is that you? It's, like, hard for you to tell if that's Rush or Who Bud at this it? moment. He just <laughs> My God. Up his look a little bit. It's the same guy. Same guy. <laughs> no, not what? <laughs> I'd love if Our guy guys, has a hat. What are you talking about? I'd, like, I'd love if you guys just like mirrored each other. Of like, I, oh my God. I like that you're playing it like Superman. Like you just take off the hat and was like, wait, where did Rush go? He puts the hat on. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's right there. Like, oh. like the glasses of Clark Kent. Like it's just, you have no idea. Wow. 
<laughs> but what is uh, what's so Hades is she gonna do the same? Try to change up her look a little bit? Is that what the idea is? Yes, her changing up, changing up her look um, because there's not a lot of time. Um, it's probably pretty wild. Okay. Yeah, you do that. And while you guys are getting ready, Bud, you head over to that spot, um, and uh, and and also uh, just just to uh, a little. Uh, information about the gameplay and so chad also knows some of the things like when we do these cab rides as well as um repairing sp of a bladed armor from previous sessions all that stuff i'm uh dropping that in chat on the discord and i'm going to send you an update on that so we can kind of get that out of stream in the future play i'm always going to streamline things like this and then in chat i'll kind of update little things like hey deduct this mummy money for this and that so uh, anybody watching, if you ever wonder uh, why little things like that aren't involved, we're just streamlining gameplay and getting rid of that little monotonous stuff. So, um, But yeah, Bud, you get to the location a bit early, take a little cab, kind of get out a few blocks away, creeping up. Give me a stealth. Just This is just a general approach because you said you were going to be stealthy. Yeah, definitely stealthy, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so I have luck five. Um, didn't use any before because I was just using your help and stuff. So, um, let's take plus two left. Is there a plus two as well? Yeah, um, I think there was. Yeah. I believe there, yeah. I'll take. Uh, yeah, no, I'll warped. just take two points. Like I'll save it for you for later if we've only got one in the bank. Uh, so yeah, two luck points spent and oh, stuff. Got another. Thank you, Brand Smash. Oh. Nice. Yeah, you uh, one. Yeah, you, you get right up to this location. You're able to get a great view on it. Um, extremely stealthy. You blend right in. No one notices you. No locals. No one. Uh, and it's like I described. You're on the edge of um, the South Knight City uh, between University District and the Glen. It is literally right on that border to the point where security still patrols this block. Um, they still will patrol this edge of the block. However, um, these shops... And this sort of um, uh, strip of uh, uh, shops and garages are, are kind of like below sea level, if you will. Like it, it feels different down here. Like in the city, if you think of multi-levels and how some of these uh, sky rises are and, and just the way the city is built, um, this whole section kind of goes below city. You can just feel the temperature drop a little. It gets a little bit darker earlier in the day down here. Um, but it's still kind of considered part of Glen University, even though it's edge of south. But you get right up on it. Um, down here, uh, the alleys are still kind of wet from previous weather. You can see some of the red uh, sort of rain sludge left. Um, there's the occasional scaver, uh, booster gang, scraggler kind of coming out of South, South Night City, coming back in, kind of going up and down alleys. And then the occasional shopper out on like the main street that you can still see up. And then you can kind of work some of the catwalks around that you see working your way up, getting a bird's eye view. And it's just like I described, people coming and going, shops. The one unit in particular that you're supposed to go to is about like third back in this image on roll 20 if you look just to set kind of a vibe. Um, so looking down this alley, whether you're up above or out at the main street before going down below, um, you can see it's like the third unit all the way down at the back end of this alley. Um, and that garage door is currently closed. Um, like most of these, um, it's later in the evening and some of these shops kind of close down around like the the evening time, less shoppers coming out at being on the edge of South Knight City. Um, but uh, but give me a perception and let's go back to Hades Russian Alley while, while Bud is doing that. Um, Say if Hades is having trouble with her look, there is a wardrobe and grooming, a wardrobe and style role. Um, so I was wondering if I could help her sure. out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do it. I was gonna say I don't think it's that she's having trouble. I think that she yeah. has her own ideas. Whoa! Hey, what's up, Ward? Yeah. Thanks for joining. Thanks for the stud Jesus. shout out. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, I would nice. say. Uh, however, you want Hades to look. <laughs> you've done her up. You know. That's great. Yeah, I think Hades would just go with it. Yeah. Yeah, I I think we just go for a real like. A, a, a total like transformation of just like subtle the subtle contour that totally like changes the shape of the face and just like you know just like someone who really kind of looks like a like they kind of blend into the shadows nice. 
Yeah, so little, little less Just flashy. Like yeah, a little less, little less flashy Hades, and a little more toned down and darker. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, you get that all set up. What about Rush? Everyone's noticing Rush. Uh, he's kind of changing up his look. He's looking a little bud style. It looks a little less country, a little more <laughs> rock and roll, right? A little less country, a little more rock and roll. Rush, you look so good. You could have them drop in from top of frame, right? <laughs> If I'm doing these ones, yeah. Go with it. String. <laughs> wow. Nobody will ever know. <laughs> oh, it's such a shame. They ought to know. True, true. It's okay. I can just pop the hat back on. Whoa. Oh, oh my god. Total trend. From here up, it's rush, but from here down, I don't even know. <laughs> You gotta teach me how you do that sometime, man. <laughs> and it's it's a gift. What can I say? <laughs> and yeah, it's it's getting about that time. The rest of you need to hop in a cab and start heading to that part of town to meet up with Bud. Um, and we can even say on your way there, maybe Bud's about to give you a call, give you an update, let you know where to meet him. But before he makes that call and you guys kind of can, you know, make that connection while you're on your way, uh, back over to Bud on that location while you're scoping it out. You see everything like I, I, I described. Um, you have an awesome perception, perceptive moment uh, where just aside from scoping the area, you look back at the unit just enough to see a group of five people. You can't tell male or female or what. Um, but a group of five um, going up to that unit, uh, they bang on the unit a bit. One of them kind of messes with a keypad that looks like they're talking through some intercom thing. It opens up. Uh, you see two more guys inside that kind of slap hands, hug each other and stuff. Looks like they're talking. Then they all go into the unit and it closes down. Uh, anything in particular, because that was a great percep perception roll. Anything in particular you want to look for, uh, Thing, uh, anything? Yeah, they are. Like how are they armed? Um, yeah, on that visual, you can see a couple of them look like they have uh, katanas or some type of uh, uh, staff or bladed uh, weapon. You can see one of them had a rifle. Um, it looks like uh, one, one of the main guys in five or one of the group of five look extremely big. Um, and with that great per perception, uh, you can tell he has some type of like framework done uh borderline borg style like he must have some type of alpha frame maybe subdermal stuff going on but he looks extra bulky and big comparatively um but yeah they all look kind of armed with something uh you know you saw a rifle you saw a pistol you saw a blade uh i'll, I'll get on the horn edge with runner my team. guys yeah uh so does it do is it the the black hats do you can i deduce that or is it extra hustle that they've ordered that's my kind of um two lines of thought yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna say um after the way rush everyone described you can you can deduce that that's the black hats yeah uh great perception got eyes on our edge runner team they rocked up so they're definitely a show these guys are one of them's near borg they got Blades, guns, the whole deal. I like Great. It. So we're dealing with war dub psychos? Well, you, you, some people have uh, thrown that vocabulary my way, so. I mean, um, hey, we all have crappy mental health around here, but uh, I want to <laughs> know if this guy's going to go berserk and put my skull through my through my rib cage. Oh. They look friendly enough, but uh I'm I'm just saying this this is a serious outfit, but hey, we we knew that already. Yeah. Just saying they're here, I have a great vantage point. They ain't seen me. Uh if you want, I can maintain a firing position from up here while you guys do the meet. Yeah. Um <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, and I if wish you... I could be far away. <laughs> Great response. That was awesome. Um, but no, <laughs> while, while, you, while you think of that and, and respond, I will say this too. Uh, but anytime you want to do something like that, especially being a solo, um, I'll allow you to kind of, you know, find a, an optimal position based on the weapon you want to use. You kind of know that chart of distance, what's kind of the best mm -hmm. pocket if someone isn't able to evade sort of thing. And you can kind of find that distance above or streetwise or whatever I'll, I'll you know 
allow you to do that if, if that's what you want to do. But, uh, but, uh, yeah. but back to the team. He just suggested that. Uh, you guys are on your way to location. Uh, you guys can talk it out. So what is our end game here? We need to figure out their deal, but... Uh... Light them on fire is the end game. <laughs> well, do you want to light them on fire or find out who set them on you? Both? Could we settle for one over the other? Uh, I know, I know, uh, but it's, it's means to an end, to an right? End, right? Yeah, no, I want to know who did it. Ugh. Do you think uh, that we could just talk it out? Based on what I saw in that video, probably not. Yeah, I mean, they've come out, so that's already a calling fee. We're not actually... We're not actually asking them for an up, like, a, a gig, but what, we say, hey, look, you came out, that's, that's on your time, you know, that's on the clock, we'll give you some, some fee, but we're trying to do our own shakedown here, so. Well, we don't have to actually attend this meeting, we could just catch them as they leave. Yeah. Yeah, true. How will we get closer to finding out who their employer is, though? Just well, by letting them live if they tell us? <laughs> I don't think uh, these guys are going to be very intimidated by us. Yeah, I don't think so either. No. What if we take one of them off to use like a hostage? Uh, this is their turf. I'm... I'm... I don't see how we get one of them alone. They all just went inside that that unit pulled the door down. I'm thinking we uh, either do heavy recon, right? Maybe see if they get contacted by this person again, or or if we can hack into some system that they might be operating on here. This is their home turf, right? Where they do business. Or we try and go in there and be up that, front. We're looking for that, your employer, not you. I, I agree with Ali. Those seem to be the two best lines coming in straight and saying, hey, we tricked you to meet you here, but we have a legit biz. Just point us in the direction of your employer. Or, uh, you know, the two of you, Ali Rush, uh, stall for time while Haiti sneaks in, see if she can't find a record on their, on their subnet. It'll probably be locked down pretty tight, though. Yeah, but you're an expert, babe. I know. <laughs> what do you guys reckon? Uh, I'm I'm of two minds here. I mean, I I think if I don't have to go in there, I'd prefer it. I'm not to be held responsible if I suddenly light the place on fire. I don't know. I don't know what I'm capable of doing anymore. Okay. You've never known. Yeah, but they've made me mad. Rush, you got a level yeah. head on your shoulders, you. <laughs> Can you make a captain's call here? I'll try Whoa. not to be offended by that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you said you're of two minds. They're both equally balanced. <laughs> <laughs> The hack does seem like a decent option because my concern here is we're going to be getting off on a bad foot no matter what. We start this conversation and let them know that we duped them. They're not going to be very happy with us. And they're probably not going to want to answer our questions right away. You know, we have to be able to find some common ground with them uh, if we're going to be able to talk to them straight and get answers. Yeah, but, either cut them into a deal or bribe them off, which... Oh, yeah. oh, 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 what if, okay, what if we show up like we're another edge runner group that was hired by the same people and then the people who hired both teams don't show up and then we have something in common and then we can, uh, we can commiserate over being angry. That is brilliant. I like it. Would, angry. What, what was this group hired to uh, do? Ah, same thing that they were hired to do. Or maybe uh, 
set the... Hey, I, I think Hades has the beginning of something. Like, yeah, no, what I if like it's, it. What if it's like, you know, it's professional courtesy. It's like, you guys don't know that you firebombed a fellow net, uh, edge runner team. We're here to make you know, you know, make you aware that professional courtesy is we don't step on each other's toes. Yeah. It's a nice mix of both, right? Bit they might not be a bit of deceit. Yeah, they might not care though. So I don't uh, need any gig possible. Wear these glasses. I can put my hat back on. Is that what we're saying? No. <laughs> oh, no, keep no. the glasses on. It's very important. <laughs> yes. I think they're enjoying yeah, your, so. your, your temporary new look. I think they're enjoying. I don't know. <laughs> good. It's a good look. Okay. Well. Looks like we'll be selling that story, Rush, I'm guessing. Yeah, so start off by saying, hey, we were hired and we're, you know, waiting to, what are you guys here for, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and then when do we confront them with the, the whole, hey, you firebombed our friend over here? Maybe if they say, uh, if we tell them we're... Uh, this team, and we're like, who are you? It's nice to meet you. What team are you? And then they give us their name, and we're like, yo, you bombed my house. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, Given the world, I think it's, it's going to be the kind sense. of thing we can't really plan for, right? I, I think we, whatever you can spin for as long as possible, and then if you can get on the net, Hades, we could do it that way. Yeah. If all goes south, I've got an excellent position with my rifle here. Smart rounds loaded. A few warning Look. shots into the cranium. They should become Ooh. more compliant. If they start getting sassy, exactly. Just pick off one of the weak ones around the edge. And uh, they'll they'll know they'll know what's up. They don't know how many people are hiding. I mean, they shouldn't feel threatened. They're on their home turf. I think the worst comes to worst. We'll just have to we'll just have to get out, get the hell out. Oh, of was on my we, home we turf could... too, and they came into my space. <laughs> I mean, if we need to, we could delta, and then we could come back when they're not here, and break in and do what we need with their system. Then. It. We could just no show and do that. <laughs> we could. Yeah, but I don't know. They we might. Know what they, they need to know what they've done. Oh well, okay. <laughs> Plus, it might be uh -oh. their, not their only employer. It could be a one-time gig. I mean, if someone yeah. came talking to us about biotechnic, our biotechnica gig, then what? We'd just be like, "Here are the deets. We don't care. That job's done. Closed." Okay. I don't, know. I don't know. Well, you guys handle the talking, and uh, I've got my sights trained on the unit, so. Yes, yeah, so the. Rush, you handle the talking. Cab, cab is approaching, pulling up to the block. Uh, where's Bud posting up? What are you thinking? Uh, so those catwalks look nice. Um, so I think, you know, uh, before the meeting, he's just in the shadows with his his uh, rifle slung. Um, and then as soon as, as soon as the, the cab arrives, he'll, you know, just come slightly out of the shadows, you know, a couple of stories up so that he can, he can look into the unit. If the, once the gate's up, he's got at least a little bit of view in there as well. And he's resting the rifle on the railing as well. So it's just like perfectly steady. Nice. Yeah, we'll say you're a few floors up across uh, the alley on one of those catwalks posted, just like you described. Uh, alley's ha uh, alley Hades Rush. Uh, you get out of the cab, make the payment, make your way down this alley to the address. Um, and it's as you're seeing on roll 20, uh, pretty dead in, in this uh, now as most of them have shut down. But you get closer to the unit. Let's uh, get you right up to it there on roll 20. Um, and yeah, you're up to the garage that they went into. The one that uh, is the address. So it looks okay. like there's a, you know, you could either knock on it, 
Um, there's also some type of like intercom doorbell system that uh, Bud saw them use earlier. I'll uh, I'll knock on it. Bing bing bing. Yeah, you knock on it, uh, and then through the intercom uh, system. It. What was that? Froze. What's the matter? Hello. No, we can see you. You're not frozen. Oh, time. sorry, sorry, yeah, my. Yeah. My laptop then just froze for a second. <laughs> oh, we should have went with it. We should have seen all the crazy things Al uh, Ellen would have said and done, thinking she was frozen and not on stream. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, that all been the fun. crazy things like all the crazy dang, things. Dang, I wish my laptop would work. Yeah, <laughs> no, but you, but you approach and rush. You you bang on the door, and just within a moment, uh, you know, a couple minutes, um, that little sort of intercom doorbell system um, sparks up. You hear a little static through it, um, and then a voice. Uh, uh, chimes in through it and just says, Aquinas, uh, uh, does does Rush speak Spanish? Is that one of his languages? Or Hades? Or Ali? Anybody that's right there. Uh, no? yes. Yeah, I've got it. Oh, you I do? Got I would, yeah, I would have thought you would. Okay, yeah, then, uh, yeah, you, it's in Spanish, uh, Hades, Ali, you don't understand what they're saying, um, but it's basically saying, uh, who is it? Rush. Guinness. All right, so I'll, I'll respond with, uh, you hired us for a job back in Spanish. You hired you us? You the fixer? You're saying you hired us for a job? That's the ruse, right, is that we're all, we're pretending like we are also told to go here. Mm. Oh, okay, okay. Um, yeah, the, yeah, the, you, you yeah, the voice comes back in Spanish and says, uh, no, you must have the wrong unit. We were told to meet here. Uh, give me a persuasion roll. I assist somehow? Um, no, you're kind of, uh, this is kind of Rush's conversation. Yeah. You're not really in there with them, you know, in their face. No. I don't really know what he's saying either. Um, yeah, the voice comes back uh, and just, uh, no, uh, in Spanish again. Uh, no, we didn't hire anybody. No one hired here. Uh, you're definitely at the wrong unit. Move along. It's happening, Rush. It says that uh, we're at the wrong unit. Saying that they, they didn't hire anybody for a job. So, uh... <laughs> hey, flip it around. Tell them your Spanish is bad. Oh. <laughs> We hired you. We're here for a meeting. Yeah, we were hired to be here. Get I'm the so door. Sorry for what is about to happen. Um, or hack hack the door panel. <laughs> Hades is gonna start banging on the on the <laughs> door right next to the thing. Open up! Open up in there! You come out of there right now! I'll, uh, while this conversation is going on. <laughs> and I rock that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Hey guys, I, I feel like we should have seen this coming. Yeah, they're they're talking about what to do and Hades just starts banging oh. on the door, screaming at them to come out. Get out! Open the plans. door! Open up! Yeah, you, oh. hear, you, uh, you hear the okay. voice come through the intercom again, Rush, and, and in Spanish just say, whatever you're doing out there, move along. Rush, what do they say? They told us to move along. Now, now she's banging on it with both our hands. I'm not gonna move along. We're not gonna move along. Open up the door. Open it up. Yeah. All of a sudden, the uh, the garage door opens up, um, and you're basically looking inside of this unit. Um, it's a bit of a garage. I'll bring it up here on roll twenty, so you can get a little visual vibe of what you're seeing. Um, but the garage pops open, and you're looking at. It looks like uh, uh, three guys uh, standing right in front of you. Um, two medium build guys. Uh, looks like you know they have weapons, bulk, random things, just at, at quick face value when the when the door opens. Uh, one of the three looks like one of those big, uh, you know, alpha frame uh, implanted uh, Borg, borderline Borg looking guys, like Bud described. Um, you can see behind him, um, you know, a rack of weapons, um, some drone stuff, some work, um, and it looks like there's somebody working on it, and they're just like looking over their shoulder at you when the when the door opens, and then they go back to work. Uh, beyond there, you see there's some type of like car up on a rise being converted into an AV, 
and it's just being customized in the shop. It looks like this is some type of like mechanic or tech shop, uh, possibly on, on, on like normal business days or something. It's hard to tell. Um, and then beyond that, it looks like there's some type of office door and then a side door um, that goes into some other type of room. You can see the, the window and lighting and it's just bright light coming in there. You see some shadows moving around in there like there's some people working back there as well. Um, but that's what you see just, you know, scanning as that door opens and it, and it flips open. Um, and the one guy kind of in the front of those three, he just says uh, in Spanish, he says it right uh, to all three of you and it opens just like, oh, uh, and without cussing after the stream, but he's just like, you know, what the frack are you doing here? Just move along. You're at the wrong unit. You don't want any of this. We were told to be you, here. You don't want any of this. Exactly. I don't know what's been communicated to you, but our employer has asked us to be here, so we're here. This has to do with some protection money. Not not for you, but for some other businesses. We were told to meet here by a fixer. What's going on? It's, are you the fixer? Do you know the fixer? Is the fixer here? Um, he looks. Oh. Yeah, he looks really confused at this point. Um, give me another. Uh, you can give me an acting. Um, if you want, um, man, I think you, there is one other can, plus two. Uh, you can give me. There is a plus. There's a plus two. You can, if you, you want it. Two. Yeah, and you can. Yeah, you can. Uh, yeah, go for it. I got luck too, I guess. Um, and Allie, you can assist if you want, since you kind of oh, chimed yes. in. Um, Hades, yeah. Hades, not so much, because that would be a negative. Um, is that to, an acting to... role for me as well? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Is that act? Yeah, because now at this point you're trying to act right in front of them as they're reading your, uh, you know, hum as they're given a little human perception. The nineteen for me. It's nice. A yeah, for rush. Me. You get a plus one. Um, nice. Okay. So that's a fifteen. Uh, yeah, the guy uh, in the front he starts looking confused. Wait, do and he says to you in Spanish, like, "Wait, hi hired to come here? Uh, wh what's going on? I'm a little bit confused by uh, your girl yelling and you're saying you're hired. Like, we're not hiring anybody. I think you're at the wrong unit. This is very confusing. I don't, I don't understand what's going on. And then the big guy, that kind of bore guy, like, leans down. Um, and uh, give me a perception, Rush. This is only Rush because he's speaking Spanish. Yeah. Um, the guy leans down and whispers. Um, so, yeah, he whispers uh, into the guy's ear. You hear him... Um, in Spanish, just like lean down. And he's like, Eso es chica. And he's like, isn't that that girl? And he kind of like looks over towards Hades. Uh, but Rush, you hear him say like, isn't that that girl? And like looks over towards Hades. And then the guy just says, it just like goes like that. Just, I, I, I don't know. Wait, wait. So, and he said, looks back to you, Rush, in Spanish and speaks up a little bit like normal conversation volume, assuming you didn't hear that whisper, obviously. And he just, now, now wait, you were hired to come here. This, this doesn't seem right. Uh, it, this doesn't seem right at all. And you can tell he's starting to get a little bit apprehensive. Yeah, we're here to meet with a fixer because he needs help with some protection money or something. We just need to hit up some businesses and get him his money. Well, okay, th this isn't sounding right. Oh, oh, oh. Stay right here. And then he like turns around and he walks back and you see him go back into the back door um, as the other guys are standing there, and that big board guy just starts like looking all of you up and down. You can tell he's sizing you three up. Um, the other guy's just kind of standing there casually. Tech behind him seems to keep working. Uh, what's Bud doing? Uh, so, just threat assessment on all of these guys, how combat ready they are. Um, just just how likely they are to, to pull guns and katanas. Yeah, give me a perception. Uh, and... and I'm also um, trying to basically look for who's the face of the party. Who's who's? It, he's gone off. I'm figuring he's gone off to get the their leader or their fixer or something. My perception sucks this time. Yeah, you're you're not getting a good read from here. I mean, you know, you got a good aim on the individuals, but not enough body language yeah. from this distance. Yeah, you're not getting a good read, but it definitely seems like, you know, like you said, like whoever was up front doing the talking went back to get whoever might be in charge. Um, doesn't take a lot to kind of assume that, yeah. Um, what's uh, Rush, Hades, and Ali doing during that? And feel free, bud, if you guys can talk to each other through your agents during this. Hades is glaring and just looking generally unpleasant. Uh, I think Ali's going to 
do the opposite <laughs> and just you know try and assert in the in her body language that it's just like nothing to be concerned about just you know you're waiting for a job to go through and it's just like an ordinary day nice. that's yeah. what i'm gonna try and do right, ladies cool. are you scanning for subnets what oh. this is like literally your role on uh, never mind <laughs> come on hades play nice they're trying to buy you time by confusing these guys. It doesn't look like they're buying it. Ugh. Uh, yeah, no, I'll roll for that. That's a 12? Nice. A 12. Yeah, you can tell there is a system in here, but it looks like it's coming from in the back room. Yeah, <laughs> she's doing a weird... She's trying to talk quiet, uh, unseen, as it were. Yeah, there's apparently one, but it's at the back of the place. I would have to get into it. What's the next <laughs> play, guys? And it's right then that the guy comes walking out, and he has um, another guy with him, and a guy and a girl behind him. Um, the girl is holding a rifle, um, and she just kind of comes out, looks, and then she sets it down to the side, and then you see her kind of pop out a very heavy pistol out of her leg. She doesn't uh, take it in her hand, but you see it pop out, um, which. You know, won't even have to do a deduction roll. You can tell, like, you know, they're they're a tactful edge runner team. Like, they're they're judging distances and things like at all moments. Like, you can tell maybe she's a solo of a type or something. But um, but at, at, at any rate, they come walking out, um, and the guy that's with uh, the one that you were talking to originally kind of steps up and speaking Spanish. He looks towards you, Rush, and he says, uh, "I think we have a bit of a misunderstanding here. Uh, I apologize if things have been a little bit rough around the edges. I'm Enrique." This is my team. I assure you, we didn't call you here for any hire. All right, Enrique. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. We were expecting a good payday out of this. I'm sorry. Uh, that's not what we do. Uh, it sounds like a little cross uh, miscommunication or something around whoever is trying to hire you. But, uh, can, yeah. Oh, wait. I, I don't understand anything he's saying. <laughs> no, you don't. You just hear them, a uh, Russian, him kind of speaking Spanish back and forth. Mm. Rush. Rush. Do we know who's, you know, who's who's even running this gig, Rush? I mean, this Rush, employer has been all over the place. Uh, th this here is Enrique. Ah, uh, Enrique. Do, you, do any of you... Hi. Yeah, he speaks you. English. He speaks English for a moment, introducing himself to Allie when she does it. And like, yeah, I'm Enrique uh, uh, Alley Cats, right? I think I've seen your brain dances before. <laughs> Who hasn't, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess um, so. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, a couple of the guys that were staying there like laugh a little bit behind him. Uh, is that making we've been made then? Might as well tell him while we're really here then. <laughs> All right. He's about to blow a gasket. Yeah, but before, 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 before she pops. Yeah. You guys did a job not that long ago. Firebomb the apartment of this lady over here. Mind my apartment, it was my apartment. I lived there. Give me we a, don't hold grudges. Give me a human wanna... perception. Uh, everybody can say that. And finish what you're saying, Allie. Yeah, you don't hold grudges. We just want to get to the bottom of it. They don't hold grudges. <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where's my human perception? There it is. <laughs> Hades got a twelve. She's no. too angry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, Rush, you can tell uh, the Allie, Hades, you're not getting a read on the guy when you explain bomb in the apartment. Allie, you get the point across. Like, look, we're not holding grudges. We're just trying to talk about this. Hades seems obviously upset about it, understandably. Um, but you're not getting a read on him. But Rush, you notice when you do bring that up and bomb this, like, like his facial expression just kind of like, like, you know, you're just very casual about it. Like, you can tell that he knew that you knew. Like he recognized Hades when you walked up, just like the big guy kind of whispered to the guy that you overheard. Like, mm -hmm. he kind of knew that you were bullshitting. You can tell that he Yeah, knew. so I can tell by the look on your face that you already knew this. <laughs> so let's drop the pretense. Can we? 
start okay. over again. I'd okay. appreciate that. I'm Rush. This is Allie. This here is Hades. I'm the one who's home, my domicile, my sacred space, you lit on fire. <laughs> well, you're still alive, so I, I guess no harm done, right? But uh, he's speaking in English now. Um, so, no but, harm done! Now, what exactly... My clothes, my bags, my... She's just going to keep going on. Yeah, he looks, he looks back over to Rush. So, you want to tell me the real reason you're here? I mean, obviously, you're upset about this, but uh, as you should know, a job's a job, a gig's a gig. Things happen. I mean, like I said, she's alive. Yeah. Uh, water under the bridge. Why are you here? We understand we're not here for vengeance or anything stupid like that. We just want to find out who hired you for the job. <laughs> Any chance you could let us in on that information? Yeah, I don't. I mean, think... someone firebombs your uh, your apartment. You want to know where the threat's coming from, right? Absolutely, but I'm sure, uh, being a fellow uh, team, you can understand not giving away client information. Uh, and Allie, why don't you give me a charismatic impact? Sure. You Gotta know, be useful uh, for something, right? A job's a job. One of them's a fan. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 13. So, you know, you can totally understand where we're coming from here. A client's a client. You don't release that. But, uh, you know, maybe, uh, maybe I'd be persuaded a little bit, uh, by some, uh, maybe, maybe by some unreleased BDs. Maybe, uh, I heard you had a little signature series chocolate release party. I couldn't make it out. Couldn't get my hands on any of it. Oh no! Uh, wouldn't mind oh. uh, maybe an autographed uh, sample of that yeah, as well. Yeah, no, I've got one. I, I mean, I've got the recording. It's still rough, but um, I've got it on me. If you want to um, give me your agent deets, yeah, I would he hate to it. hear that a fan missed out. It was a really, really great night. Yeah. See, uh, I can appreciate that, and it, you know, I, I, I see what you're doing, and I know you're kind of double playing with your team you got to maintain your entertainment side and, and um look the job's done obviously uh <laughs> i apologize for how things went down but a job is a job look you're still alive uh, looking towards yeah. hades then back over to alley uh, but um you know the guy gave us uh this burner phone to use and uh i don't know if it's still here let me let me just check and i uh, yeah, in fact, yeah, Sammy, why don't you uh, uh, dig around, see if uh, see if he left that, um, and uh, and we'll do what we can, you know, to get you at least something. Uh, the, the guy goes in the back, starts digging through one of the crates, uh, coming back with an agent, looks like a burner phone of some type, um, and Enrique goes on uh, to explain. Um, yeah, so uh, sorry, let me. I gotta reset these windows. Um, yeah, so you know, it's a. Client's a client, you know. Paid gig's a paid gig, um, but it's done. This is uh, this is the burner he used. I'm sorry, I can't help out much more than that. Hey, um, we get it. It's it's you got to take what you can get, and obviously you guys are um, a, a great team, and um, you know what it's like. To... What was that? Except for their net runner. Yeah. Well. Didn't cloak well enough oh really um is that how you uh you kind of figured this uh, i mean I'm just, I'm just saying that over comms to to ali because i'm not there so oh. she it's just a snide comment from oh, me okay. she doesn't have to articulate that <laughs> i'm yeah. not i'm not articulating that <laughs> i'm sorry everyone have heard that uh, the question. horse laugh was me we're on, we're on shared comms you would have heard that yeah <laughs> yeah at that he would laugh and and pretty much just say yeah, no, it was totally obvious that it was them. <laughs> <laughs> Look, gig economy, we get it. Um, we just appreciate you being being honest with us and um, helping an us out. It's, it's a dangerous place out here, you know, for a couple of gals and, and some guys. And we just want to know where the threat is coming from. That's okay, it. well, you know, I can't get you much detail. Uh... The dude just gave us this burner phone and contact, contacted us through our page, hired a gig, uh, do a little hit, 
on this this girl in this unit. That's what it was. Again, <laughs> I apologize. You're alive. It's all good. Water under the bridge. A job's a job. But then back over to you, Alley, again. Um, but you know, at least you got the burner here. Um, maybe you can uh, contact him through that or something. I don't know. Hopefully, it'll help. Uh, and it's at that point. Uh, that big guy that was whispering in his ear earlier, Rush, leans down again and says in Spanish to him, um, and still playing off the same perception you're there, you hear him uh, mention to him, hey, is this about that guy Stan, Stan the man? Um, and then the guy just says, you know, just quiets him down, like, yeah, it's, 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 it's about that last job, uh, and just like tells him to be quiet in Spanish. Um, and then back over to Ali and, and hands over the burner phone. So who's Stan the man? Ooh, we're going to play it right out. Oh. Nice. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, uh, it's what the guy went by. Uh, the guy who hired gave us a call, um, did the contact, came in for the job, met at one of our locations, paid us for it, hooked us up with the burner for the communications, uh, went by Stan. Uh, and, and met him? And when he says Stan, uh, the big guy uh, says in Spanish, yeah, Stan the man. Stan the man. Oh yeah. Oh, I so, you met him in <laughs> so you met you met him in person, so you know what he looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Could you tell me what he looks like? Uh, yeah, sure. Do you yeah. have any any images? Do you have any I mean, if you meet your clients here, which I'm assuming you do, uh, do no, you have uh, any video? This uh, isn't our spot, you know, different spots every time, locations we network with different people, but um, no, when we met okay. him, uh, no images, no video. We usually run things anonymous, uh, as you can imagine. Um, but yeah, middle-aged uh, corpo type, you know, suit, uh, probably middle management, uh, not really sure. Uh, you know, had some silver hair, black streak down one side. Uh, not much else. Uh, I was pretty pissed off. He was adamant at us taking out this girl. <laughs> not sure what you did, lady, but... Uh, he paid top dollar. <laughs> I was too awesome. I mean, it's a, it's a compliment, right? <laughs> um, the higher the price, the uh, more threatening you are. Do, do, does this guy sound familiar to, to me, Rob? Description um, sounds awfully familiar, but I don't know if that's just my lizard brain kicking in. <laughs> um, yeah, give me a concentration. Uh, check. We'll do a concentration for you, Allie. Um, this is for Allie. Okay. I've got terrible concentration. Oh, yeah. okay. 18. Not, oh, not too bad today. Not bad, but uh, not good enough for this difficult uh, sort of memory check. It's very obscure. Uh, sounds familiar, but you're not putting a finger on it. Doesn't? It's not really clicking. Yeah. Could, uh, you always crowdsource your fan base, see if anyone's heard of him. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, uh, but yeah, so, uh, little, uh, little thing I wouldn't mind, uh, talking about here, and I'm, I hope you can understand, uh, I mean, I understand your situation and, you know, digging around, you know, someone from our team, uh, gets a hit put on them. You're damn sure we're gonna dig around, we're gonna get to the bottom of it, too, uh, but in the process, uh, we thought we had a gig here. We set up, worked with our partners. They get a percent location finder fee, set up time. You know, there's some expenses here. Maybe a little team to team respect would be a, a, a nice moving forward. Um, if you can, if you can respect and understand that. If not, <laughs> that's on you and that's fine. But just wanted to put that out there. No, figured that'd be a call out cost. What is it? hoping Rush can haggle them down. <laughs> yeah, what do you suggest? Ah, uh, I mean, you're a, you're a gig worker. Surely you're a, you have your your going rates. I don't want you to devalue yourself. Look, we didn't have to get too much into it. Why don't you give us five hundred eddies? I'll be able to grease my buddy's palms, take care of my boys for the wasted time. No sweat, no word on this ever oh. happening. Yeah, I mean. I'm, I don't know about, I can't speak for the rest of the team. I'm happy to pay that. <laughs> Seems fair. Yeah, yeah, we can wear it. Yeah. Just, we, got, we, we got the info, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, so I, like the, I like these guys. Like, you know, they're, 
they're honest and they're just just another team so yeah hey totally and um uh i i'll reach into my bag and pull out some of the the new new cats chocolate oh just, nice. you missed the gig and um hey just wanted a token of appreciation you know you didn't have to be straight with us and you were and we're, we want to say it's it's nice to see edge runners looking out for each other nice i appreciate that this means, this means a lot i really yeah, did yeah, want to attend that event i know i know but hey um the the raw bd is is through and once i get a proper edit on i'll uh, i'll send it through no nice. charge oh yeah he pulls out a little hollow card and hands it to you, you see like a a black cat in a hat hovering over this card and he's like Look, Enrique is the name. Hit me up anytime uh, you need any help from our team. Maybe we'll work together sometime in the future, but I appreciate that. And he already starts opening up and eating some of the chocolate. <laughs> Cute. All right. I, I think we're done here. Rush? Yeah, I think I think we're done. But Hades' face. Yeah, I <laughs> 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 the entire time. Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> <Palman's true. laughs> She's shown incredible restraint. Uh, um, <laughs> we owe her a drink. Yeah, and he uh, he closes the garage. Um, before before they close the garage and walk yeah. out, I'd like to drop down, please. Okay, yeah, you can do that. Uh, you come down. Uh, just you know, during that last conversation, you see Ali kind of wrapping it up with the guy handing him a hollow card. Like you can kind of assume it's going well, and they're wrapping it up. Um, you can kind of hear over the agent. So, yeah, you can climb down uh, before they close the door. Right. Drop down with the rifle kind of over the shoulder. Uh, you guys. Uh, garbage on your sight lines. Uh, I'm so glad I didn't have to zero any of you, but I, I, I really could have. You need to pick your spots better. I appreciate that. Nice blade, by the way. He looks at your katana. And then he, and then he points up, and you see like a few... Cat walks above, uh, this out of the shadow. Someone stands up with a rifle and just kind of like waves, and then goes back into the shadow. God damn it! <laughs> it's the meme in the church, isn't it? Yeah, I like you guys. Sorry, Hades. <laughs> yeah, we're all <laughs> poor Hades. We're all so easily swayed. <laughs> but then, yeah, but then he, but then he does. No, they're cool. But then he walks like the over. Kind of their, uh, like the cut of their gym. Yeah, no, he definitely exchanged a handshake with Bud, checking out his blade. They laugh a little about posting up on each other, scoping out. Um, as he closes the garage and you're able to get in your cab and kind of uh, discuss the next move, but this is where we're going to end the session. Um, you were able to kind of get a little bit of leadway with this, uh, this little edge runner team, get a little information on it. At least they were hired by some guy named Stan. Stan the man, apparently. Some corporal-looking mid-level guy, apparently. Uh, but they hooked you up with this uh, weird-looking burner phone that the guy gave them to use during the hire um, that they still had. Um, and at least gave a little lead. And then you made the contact, too. He was a fan of Allie, and Allie hooked them up with the uh, uh, unedited BD of the event and some of her signature series chocolate. So that was great. Um, so, yeah, next week uh, we'll dive right in. Right where we left off, the team can discuss what their next move is, what they're doing with this phone and information. And, uh, yeah, it was a great start to our... Our new campaign, A Hades Scorned. Saw that halfway through. I'm like, what a title. That's great. A Hades Scorned. <laughs> and poor Hades just uh, pissed off the whole time, ready to explode during oh. all these social oh, interactions. Man, so, I loved it. <laughs> so irritated. Yes. And, and they, like, all of this could have been totally bypassed if somebody offered her like a candy or something. <laughs> <laughs> She's a simple woman. Yeah. Mouse trap. But yeah, I want to oh, yeah. uh, I want to uh, remind everybody in chat. Make sure you subscribe and follow Sirenscape here on Twitch, also on YouTube, so you can tune in every time we're live and you can catch up on the VODs when you get a chance. If you miss any of the lives, I also want to send out one more reminder. Uh, tomorrow is our charity stream for the Ukraine that we're doing with our Talsorian Games and Project Hope. It's a Cybernation Uncensored Twitch channel, so make sure you go over to Cybernation Uncensored here on Twitch. Uh, sub and follow. Uh, tune in tomorrow, Friday, April 1st at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, and make it's sure not you... a joke. Exactly. It's not an April Fool's joke. It's a real stream. 
Uh, James Hutt from Art Talsorian is going to be Game Master, and Art Talsorian Games is going to match every donation. Uh, so please tune in, donate some money to the great cause, and let's try to make some type of impact with our gameplay. That'll be so much fun. Um, and it'd also be cool to have James Hutt uh, GMing a game that we all get to play. Miss Magitech's going to be there. Ellen, me, uh, GM Capricious Nature is going to come and play with us too, which is a game master from the Cyber Nation Uncensored channel. So yeah, everyone tune in tomorrow. Um, but before you do that, before you leave, before we sign off, let me remind you, sub and follow to Sirenscape. It's why we're here. All right, everybody. Yeah. Thanks so much for tuning in. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. Yeah.